welcome to more Pokemon X and Y Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we finally made it to the second gym, and we managed to beat this guy who has Captain Crunch oops all berries in his hair, and we got that second gym badge. Today, we're going to start our journey towards the third gym badge. I don't know if we'll get to the, uh, I don't know if we'll actually get to that gym today, but we might. I mean, it's not as big of a gap as it was between badges one and two, so maybe. So let's go ahead and get out of this place, take this awesome slide and see what we can do. We had no deaths in the gym battle itself, although there is one thing we have to do that I kind of forgot about, guys. We have to go and turn off the experience share. I had a rule that if a Pokemon dies, I can turn on the experience share until we get another gym badge. We just got a gym badge, so we have to turn that back off right there. There were chairs in the gym and I missed them. Gosh dang it, man. Also, Bakuan with the prime sub. Thank you, man. Okay, guys, unfortunately, I did miss some chairs. We'll make up for it, though. If I find another chair, I'll sit in it. If I find a bench, I'm sitting in that crowd. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Let's take another peek at the team as well and just see what we're working with as we work towards this uh, third gym badge. All right, let's get back out of here, and let's go see what we got, man. So down here in our list, there is the team we got right now, guys. We've got ourselves all these dudes. The only problem is now that we have the experience share turned off, it's going to be hard to get some experience on Wee Nerd, so they're only level 18 right now. We want to get them to 22 today to try to get that uh, evolution there. So we'll go ahead and put them up front. Probably going to have to do some swap training here. Go fishing. I guess I could. I guess I could. We have not fished for this town yet. So you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and do some fishing and try to capture us a brand new Pokemon. Let's go on like this, and let's see what we got. Oh, hold on. I think we have to go like this. Hold on. There we go. We just got to go so fast right now. Come on. First try. I got him. Let's go. And our first Pokemon of the day is a Charizard. Heck yeah, dude. Okay, I will admit, guys, slightly disappointed that it is not a Mega, but still, that is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and smack this guy with a bit of Icy Wind, and we'll see if that's uh, enough here. He's going to go for Head Smash. That might hurt. Okay, we are going to get the crud out of there. We're going to go ahead and hit this guy with some Icy Wind first. And that's totally fine. We got him almost halfway right there. Dude, you're right. I think we've got the Charizardite from one of the shops or something. So we could probably go back and get that crud. The only thing is they're not going to be a permanent Mega like a lot of Pokemon that we can capture are. So we're going to have to actually use their Mega Evolution in battle. And I don't think we could do that yet. Flatter, how dare you, dude? You know what? If they're gonna go ahead and confuse me, I am a bit tempted. Never mind. Okay, we just got ourselves a Lumberry right there. I was gonna say I'm tempted to go ahead and just start chucking balls, but you know what? I'm gonna start doing that anyways because I don't feel like killing this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and whip out our Pokeballs. Try to capture this guy. First try, dude. Super easily. Okay, not even a wiggle. You know what? You know what? We should go for a Brick Break. Brick Break is not going to kill. There's no way. So we're going to go back to fight. Let's go do a Brick Break right here. Come on. Be nice to my Road Frog, buddy. Oh, he took Recoil! He took Recoil! No! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's alive. We have to kill him. No, we have to capture him right now. Otherwise, he is about to defeat himself with that Recoil. So I think what we have to do, guys, is go for our one Ultra Ball right now. Okay. Ultra Ball going in. Please do not miss. If he does, he's probably going to defeat himself with Recoil. Come on, game. Come on. Yes. All right. We got him. Dude, he was legit at like one HP. I don't think he could have taken a single extra point of damage there. Well, we've got a new guy. We're going to have to go heal up anyways. So while we're there, we could probably go check this dude's ability. But guys, what do we nickname Charizard? It's going to be a tough one, man. That is going to be a tough one. So he's a fire. He's a flying. He's got a toasty bottom. Name him Leon. Name him Orange. Dragonite. We could indeed name them Blastoise. That's a pretty good name. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Oh, man. Name him Burrito. Hmm. Hmm. Charifart. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to name them... We're going to name them Toasty Buns because they got the fire tail, dude. Keeping all the buns warm. There we go, man. 
So let's go to the PC now. We're actually going to take a look at what ability they might have. I don't think we're going to add them to the team. I've mentioned this before, but I typically do not like to add Pokemon to the team until something I already have dies. So they're going to be a, uh, a dust collector in the box for now. Let's go ahead. I don't even know if I have to deposit something first. Let's just go ahead and do organized boxes. Let's do that one. And we'll go take a look at this guy. So their nature is serious. Ability is illuminate. I'm going to check the summary just because I don't know what illuminate does. Raises the likelihood of meeting wild Pokemon. No, thank you, dude. And they've got some pretty decent ground attacks right here, like drill runs. So that's pretty cool. A head smash as well. But uh, yeah, we're going to leave them behind. What is Haunter's ability? Let's go take a look at that one as well. So their ability... Stall! Stinking stall! Why? Why is Haunter's ability stall? We can go and we can get Old Amber. We can get infinite Haunters, but their ability is stall. Gosh dang it, game. And I don't think we can evolve Gengar because we can't trade, so we can't even get rid of the ability. I'm so upset, man. Okay, well, in that case, we're just going to go out the north of this town, and we're going to try to move on with our adventure. Did I heal? Did I heal? I did not. We're going to go back and heal. <laughs> stall not again. We already got Stall Nitto King. Now we have to get Stall Haunter as well. It's pretty, pretty disappointing. Wait, guys, did I just walk past a bench? Did you set change impossible evolutions? I might have. I can honestly can't remember. But there is an option in the randomizer to allow it for... Pokemon that would normally have an evolved condition that you can't meet, like trading, to be something that can now evolve by leveling up. So I might have that. Yo, it's Toby. Thank you so much for the Prime sub, dude. Guys, I did walk by the bench. We're going to go sit. Oh, yeah. There we go, dude. And with that one done, we're going to go beat up this guy. Uh, never mind. We can't beat them up. We're going to just move on this way. Yo, not gaming with the Prime sub. Thank you so much, man. Woo. We got our new route, guys. I don't know why I barked, but we got ourselves a Lapapa Berry. And guys, we got a brand new route. Route number 10, double digits. What do we got? Just give me a Mega. Give me a Mega. Come on. Oh my gosh, that is not a Mega, but I will take that. I will take that all day, dude. Level 19 Kyogre. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Okay, we are immediately, immediately going over to Road Frog right now. Yo, Buck, thank you so much for the Prime sub, dude. I am going to go, and I am going to blast this guy. They do not have a ton of physical defense. They just have special defense. So I want to not hit them too hard. I'll probably just go with a basic Brick Break right here, and hopefully that will do it. So this guy hit me two times. We're going to go for a Brick Break right here. Mega Punch goes in, but they miss. Thank goodness. And that did a decent chunk. I'm going to hit them again and hopefully not get a critical. Actually, a critical would be okay because criticals are only 1.5 times damage in this gen. Come on. Put them down. I don't, dude I, dude, I cannot risk another one now. I might be able to go for judgment and have his special defense take care of that. But, dude, we're just going to go whip out our great balls. We have 16 balls right now. Here we go, guys. Trying to capture ourselves, Vegeta the Kyogre. Come on, dude. Yes? Dude, first try. First try. Come on. Yes, dude. Oh, my gosh. Holy crud, man. Level 26 on Road Frog going in. There we go. I gotta know. I gotta go back and see if this guy's got a good ability. Yeah, yeah, we got we got the data, guys. But do we bring them back as Vegeta? Do we name them Vegeta right here? Or should we name them something else Dragon Ball Z related? We can name them Trunks. We got Vegeta. Do we name them Vegetable? I could name them Goku. That is indeed true. It's Vegeta Jr. Isn't Vegeta Jr. basically just Trunks? We're going to go with Trunks, guys. Trunks is Vegeta's son. So we're going to go with Trunks. There we go, man. Please, Bardock. Dude, Bardock's pretty cool. There we go, guys. Vegeta's actual son. Also, Ash, thank you so much for the Prime sub, dude. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna check this guy's ability. Where's the Pokemon Center? There you are. Dude, the game so badly wants me to connect to the internet. Yo, P Fire, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. Kaya Girl, let's go. DBZ, DBZ name's always a wise choice. Heck yeah. Let's go down and let's check them out, dude. Oh my gosh. 
So, parent and child attack together. That sounds pretty bad. But our moveset, though, is uh, not very good for a special attacker either. But we got Bug Buzz, guys. Bug Buzz is good. Wait. Parental bond. Parent and child attack together. So, wait. Does that mean they attack twice? Is that why they were hitting me two times? Dude. If that is the case, then this Kyogre might be ridiculously overpowered. I am kind of tempted, guys, to swap them out for my Ekans right now. But I think here's what I'll do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and keep Ekans on the team until we evolve. If Ekans evolves into something bad, we'll swap it out for Trunks. <laughs> I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. I, I gotta know. I gotta know what they evolve into. Evolve Ekans first. That's what I'm thinking, man. Save the game. I probably should. I probably should. I do not want to lose my chance at this if my game crashes, so I saved it right there. And we're good. Okay, okay. This run is too good. It is ridiculous, man. I cannot believe how good our team is. I mean, to be fair, not everything is ridiculous, but for the most part, we haven't really had a lot of deaths. We've had three, which I guess is a decent amount for this point in the game, but Pokemon X and Y just lets you capture so many Pokemon pretty early. So we're already, like, building a great collection of Pokemon in the box, and I am so ready to go and beat up this kid. Let's do it, man. Do not be a juggler right now. Do not be a juggler. Gent Pie with a Sun Flora. Can we finally deal with a single Pokemon with Wienerd? I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy with a, I guess, an Ice Attack. You know what? No. Wait, you, you, no. Wait, no, no. You know what, dude? We'll do it. We'll do Icy Wind. Let's just see how it does. Maybe it'll actually be really good. Okay, we're gonna swap out here. Don't die. Let's see, we're gonna go for... Um, who has a fire attack? I think Bufasa does. They have blue flare. This is Psychic Robert, dude. I don't know, man. Same three times. Guys, how many, how many times do you think is the appropriate amount of times to save? Ow, two damage. I am so scared. I'm gonna go for some blue flare right now. Does he want me to say 15 times? How are they not dead? I guess we went for a special attack, but still. Okay, we'll just go for a simple... Now nah, we'll just do Blue Flare again. I just realized Blue Bossa does not have a whole lot of attack PPs. We have a very limited supply of PPs. Vegeta and Trunks attack together. That is actually so perfect. You're right. That is like the perfect ability for Trunks to get. All right, we Nerd is level 20. Just two more levels to go. They want to learn Air Slash. That is actually kind of cool. I think I'll go ahead and get that in place of Giga Impact. Giga Impact is a move that has a recovery period, which I do not like in my Nuzlocke's band, so I'm getting it out of here. If Bell Stinger KOs, raises attack by three. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yo, Crucial, thank you so much for the, for the uh, Twitch Prime sub, man. Thank you, dude. Elite Trainer Joey, Houndoom coming out. Houndoom actually has pretty good special attacks. We have to be a little bit concerned about this one. They are going to be, of course, uh, fire and dark, so hopefully we have something good against that. I think we can just go back to Bufasa once again and hit this guy with the cross chop here. Steam, thank you for the 100 bits, man. New Mon time. Dude, I, I don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. We're down to 69 HP right now. That is a little bit scary. Dude, Lamaru, Bubsy 3D, here we go. Gosh dang it, man. Please don't Bubsy 3D. Guys, how, how annoyed will you be with me if I get to the very end of the game, right? I get to the end of the game, and then I go ahead and on the championship battle before we're about to win, I intentionally let the run die because then I don't have to play Bubsy 3D. Yo, JP guy with the 400 bits. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I really, really appreciate it, guys. You guys are being incredibly annoyed. I don't know, man. It's tempting because at that point, I could be like, you know what? We could have done it. I had it in me. My team was good to go. I just chose not to, right? Okay, that was a little bit painful, but we're going to be fine. We'll go for some double kick right here. Insurmountable anger. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much anger. That's a bit too much. I've been watching you for so long. I don't know why I'm just now getting on your Twitch since you're OG Psycho Glitchfest. I love to listen to your videos while I'm at work. Crucial. That's awesome, man. Well, welcome to the stream, dude. 
Hello and welcome. What's up, Eric? Just don't tell my boss I'm on Twitch. Okay, sounds good, uh, Death. Thank you so much for the bits, fan. I'll be honest, guys. When I'm, like, planning out Let's Plays or doing stuff that doesn't require, like, me to focus up on audio, dude, I'm watching Twitch streams all the time on the side. I love that, Karada. Uh, let's see. Ducklet is going to be weak to Electric, which we have over on Big Gulp. Kind of falling behind in levels now on Bubsy747. They're only level 20, and they're actually the lowest level on my team right now. Nuzzle going in. That's going to paralyze me. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, we got the Lumberry. I always forget about those. Guys, is Nuzzle just a straight-up better version of Thunder Wave? Is it just like Thunder Wave, but strictly better? Like, is there any situation where you would ever choose Thunder Wave over Nuzzle? There we go, guys. Elite Trainer Joey going down. I have literally never seen a 3D model of Ducklet or Swana. Dude, today's stream bringing you some brand new content. Never before seen Pokemon. I'm going to go get myself on the rocks over here. Can I beat up this guy? A few years back, this really strange dude named Colrez. Oh, jeez. Don't be talking about Colrez. It's the wrong the wrong Pokemon game, dude. We got some balls to grab. What the crud? Heracronite? Dude. Also, Grim, thank you so much for the four months of. Good to catch the stream again. Let's go. Let's go indeed. We got the Heracronite. More Megas. I hope so. I hope so. Just building up that uh, Mega Stone collection as we get towards Team Flare! Oh no, dude, the stinky cheese is coming! Also, Alley Cat with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, Alley Cat. Guys, I have right now have over 600 subscriber points. I don't think I've ever had that in my entire Twitch career. You guys have been so ridiculously supportive this year, and I, I, I feel like a broken record just saying it so many times, but I really can't thank you guys enough. Holy crud. Thank you guys so much. Well, we have some sticky cheese to stomp. I ain't eating you, bro. I will not consume you. But I will defeat you in a Pokemon battle, which is basically just as evil. Omanite coming out. We got the stinky cheese wielding the Lord Helix. This guy talks about fossil Pokemon, and that is what he uses. This guy is going to be rock, and he's going to be uh, water as well. I want to see what exactly does Power Whip do, because if that's a good move here, I might just use that. Now let's go check, take a look at Power Whip. Um, should I just go for Power Whip? Is there any reason not to do it? I don't see any reason not to do it. It doesn't say recoil. It doesn't say we're stuck in recovery or anything like that. So I think we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it, man. Let's go fight. Let's go Power Whip. This should be four times super effective. We missed, dude. Gosh dang it, man. Okay, we're going to try again. Go back to that power whip, and we're trying again, man. Here we go. Get this crud taken down. Can we just please get level 22? That's all I want. Not even close. Togetic coming out. I'm going to go ahead and stay in right now. Not because I actually want to be in. Although, you know what? Icy Wind might be okay here. Because they are part flying. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. I'm, I'm just going to swap. Mud Slap coming out. That should be totally fine. Super effective, but it shouldn't do that much. We're good. I see a wind. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is going to be the one. I don't know if this will be enough to uh, get me to that next level. I see wind is so weak. You're right. And especially coming out of an Atkins. You know what? If nothing else, I should get Big Gulp to level 25 right here. And it brings me so much comfort to see my Pokemon higher level than theirs because it means that they cannot one-hit KO me with any kind of special attack there. We get that critical hit. There we go, man. Ooh, 699. That might be enough to level up Wiener. Let's go. Come on. Yes, there it is, guys. Okay, now it is time to find out if we are going to get a good evolution right here. If we do, we'll keep it. If not, we are going to swap them out for that Kyogre. Let's go, dude. Just give me something good game. I would love to keep Kyogre in reserve for a second team. But uh, we'll just see what happens. Come on, Snake. Come on, Snack. Come on, Ekans. They're going to evolve. I'm not pressing B. No. They're going to evolve. Oh. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. We went from Jesse's Pokemon, and now we have James's Pokemon. We are still Team Rocket right now. 
And here's the problem, guys. I'm pretty sure that coughing does not evolve at such a low level. I'm pretty sure we have to get coughing pretty high. So that's not good. Oh, this guy's doing a, uh, a little cell phone call right there. Gotta love the holocaster. Dude, don't be advertising on my stream, bro. Okay, get that guy out of here. Okay. We're gonna take a look at this coughing. They have one possibility of redeeming themselves. If they have an incredible ability, like pure power or something like that, then maybe we'll keep them. Lincoln making the spin to pop out with the 1,000 bits. Holy crud, man. Uh, hi, Psycho. I finally got the money to do this. Just wanted to say that you've been a joy to watch for years, and some of my fondest memories are from watching you do these nuzlocks and all types of other crazy stuff. It's been such a blast enjoying the content that you make, and I'm looking forward to having a lot more great times in your streams. <laughs> and remember, all hail our Lord and Savior Dunspars. Lincoln, thank you so much, man. Thank you, dude. I've got a feeling this is going to be a good ability, man. Here we go. Color change. The Pokemon's type becomes the type of the Mew. Oh, gosh. I think we're going to... I think we're going to go back and get them out of here, dude. No coughing for us. I mean, that's not bad. Okay, maybe it's a little bit bad. It's not garbage. I mean, maybe it's a little bit trash, but it's not like... It's not stall. But I still want to get rid of it, and I think we're going to bring on the Kyogre. Or... We have a second option, guys, and I will leave this up to you. I will leave my fate in your hands. We could go ahead and get out this amazing Kyogre. That's totally possible. However, we also could get out a different Pokemon that also has a chance to evolve. We have people. We have people right here. We've got P-Dove as well, 3.15. We've even got... Okay, we don't have that guy, but we do have these other two, so they might be able to evolve into something cool. Guys, what level does people evolve at? Does anyone know? And the same question with uh, with 3.15. Does anyone know what level P-Dub evolves at? So 25 for people. That's going to be five levels. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. They have some great some great moves with Land's Wrath and all that, but I don't know, man. P-Dub is 21, so it's going to be six levels for them as well. Man, I'm, I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking we whip out the trunks and we just embrace the fact that our team is ridiculous. We just embrace the fact that our team has three legendaries on it now. And we also embrace Kilo giving us a stinking Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, man. All right, guys, we've got trunks. They have an item as well. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and just take a look at what that might be. Go to our summary. And the item is a cleanse tag, whatever that is. Okay, guys, we're going to put them up front, and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of devastation they can do. I've heard that the ability from Mega Kangaskhan is so good that it makes Mega Kangaskhan overused or maybe even uber. Like, I heard that's a really good ability, man. Yo, Humongous359 with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Would you guys say that Parental is top five Pokemon abilities? Would you guys say it's that good? Will you evolve coughing later? I mean, if we get to a situation where we just need a new teammate, then we might bring them back, yeah. In Gen 6, definitely. Gosh dang. It is very good. Now, the thing is, I'm going to guess it's not as good as Pure Power, right? Like, Pure Power's got to be better, right? But Parental's got to be pretty close. Okay, so Trunks is up front. We're going to go try to do our first battle with them. And the thing I love about Trunks is they have such good defensive stuff. I feel like defensive Pokemon are actually pretty good for Nuzlocks. Uh, let's go beat up this guy first. Come on, Trunks. Let's go wash these guys away. Power up punch. Isn't power up only good on physical attackers? That might be true. Oh my gosh. First of all, Max Hail with the five subs. Thank you so much, Max. Holy crud, dude. Thank you, thank you, man. And also, we are about to bug buzz and delete this Esper. Watch this damage, guys. Strong attack, and we have parental on it. Okay, we don't even get to see the second attack. We don't even get to see it. All right. Pan poor. Dude, this poor pan poor. Did I say... I, I meant to say parental if I didn't say that. Wait, guys, we got triple kick. So does that mean with parental triple kick now hits six times? Look at that! Did you guys see that? We killed them because of parental. They were not going to kill, but then they did. That is insane. 
I don't actually know how parental works. I'm guessing the second attack is like half power, or is it is it full power? Do you just get like two he attacks out of everything? Burn drive. Okay. Vegeta's second attack. It's half. So what you're telling me is because parental does 100% and then 50%, it is basically the same as getting a critical hit every time. And then if you actually get a critical hit, it's just even better. Is that what you guys are saying? That sounds crazy to me. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Dude, and you're right. For moves that have a chance on a hit, it can actually be even better than a critical every round. That's crazy. Use triple kick, it should hit six times. Can't you see we adults are busy? Don't interrupt our work, kid. I gotta say, guys, I am appreciating Scribe Mike. What the credit? I am appreciating that the route we're on right now. Oh, crud, dude. Okay. We just got a real match. Fairy Aura, level 23 on this guy. This is not even just QRM. This is the stinking fusion QRM. What the crud, man? Okay, okay. What type is this guy? I need to know, because they might be weak to triple kick. They're... What are they? Kick it? Uh, let's see, let's see. Fire and ice. Okay, if they're fire and ice, I believe ice is weak to fighting, right? So triple kick could be really good, but guys, this is scary. Dragon and ice. Okay. Uh, let's just try. Let's just try. Side shock. Do not do big damage. Uh... Oh my gosh, okay, we're alive though. Watch this damage. That's it? That is it. Okay, dude. I mean, that's not bad. Critical hit right there. That's it. We didn't even get parental out of that, dude. Ghost, thank you so much for the prime sub, man. I think it's time to swap. Who would I go to? Should I go to Road Frog and do Brick Break? We're level 26 over on Road Frog. That is a big, that's a big juicy number. We could go Disco Bay and do Double Kick as well. But Disco Bay does not have as much defense. I think we're going... I do have a fairy, you're right. But I don't have any fairy attacks. That's the problem. I don't have any actual fairy attacks. Uh, we're going to go... We're going to go Road Frog. Because we have Brick Break. I think that'll do good damage. And the thing that makes me most comfortable is the fact that we have good defense on this guy. Lots of HP. Oh, wow. He dodged it, dude. Okay, Brick Break. I could go for Fissure, but I feel like that's risky. Flare Blitz! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, that was not that bad. That was not that bad. Get this guy out of here. Almost got him. Just going again. We're just going again. Sly shot coming in. That should not kill us right now. No way. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're fine. But now Road Frog is damaged, and we need their next Pokemon to be a Pokemon that we don't need Road Frog for, because we cannot we cannot risk this guy. Trunks level 20, that's fantastic. Thank you a lot, game. Oh my gosh. Guys, Belly Drum could be insanely risky, but it could also be ridiculous. I don't know if we should do... I don't think we should do Belly Drum in a Nuzlocke, guys. I think that's too risky. Uh, dude, I'm passing. I'm passing. I wanted to ask you guys something, okay? Um, for moves like Rollout or Fury Cutter, do they get powered up twice each round because of uh, Parental, or does it not work like that? We're going to give up a belly drop. There's no way. Oh my gosh. It's just a Persian. It is just Persian. We're fine. We're going to go to Disco Bay. We're going to go smack them with a double kick. We're good. Oh, this should be fine. Now, Persian does have a decent attack stat, but I don't, I don't think they can one-shot me. Endeavor. Dude, Endeavor is fine. Okay, Endeavor now is kind of not fine, but I think we're going to go for it anyways. Oh gosh, this is going to hurt. Eee! 2 HP. Please do not have Aftermath. No Aftermath. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, but if they had Aftermath, we were completely dead right there. Or even just like, uh, well, I guess I was going to say like Rough Skin, but we would have known about that by then. Okay, let's just get back to heal. Oh, this kid. <laughs> okay, that's not, not a trainer. We're fine. Ah, grass. I'm so scared of grass right now. We're going out. We're going around. We're going down. I just want to go down this way. Okay, dodge the that, that guy. 
All I want to do is not die. That's like my main goal in video games. It's my main goal in life. Let's go. <laughs> Bring it around town. Heck yeah. Dude, I go back to town so many times, but I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I just have a feeling some of you guys might find it annoying when I go back and heal a lot. However, I feel like you guys would be really frustrated with me if I died just because I didn't take the time to heal, you know? Gosh dang it, man. I increased the price of the water and we still drinking water here. Here we go, dude. Drinking some water. Oh, there we go. So I've just been informed that... Multi-hitting moves don't work properly with Parental. However, moves that have a set damage, such as Dragon Rage, do work. So we could get 80 damage guaranteed out of Dragon Rage. And what that sounds like is maybe with something like Seismic Toss, we could potentially get some big damage out of that crud. Water is expensive, dude. I honestly don't know how much water costs. Like, how much does a gallon of tap water cost? I have no idea. I gotta imagine it's relatively cheap, but... I don't know, man. Okay, we're gonna go around and we're gonna fight this dude. Bring it on, man. I guess not. I guess not. We're gonna go battle this dude, guys. The person with the poopies on their head. We got the poopies, dude. Scribe Mike. Dude, haven't we fought so many Scribe Mikes already? Will you train the IVs of Road Frog? I'm probably not gonna do any kind of Pokemon Ami type stuff just because I'm super lazy. I don't know what type this guy is. I'm hoping they're like pure normal type or something like that. So I'm going to go for Bug Buzz and hopefully do big damage here. Okay, that was not very effective. They're probably fighting type, aren't they? Out comes the big stuff. Ow! I think what we'll do instead then is just go for <laughs> Bug Buzz again. The reason I'm going for Bug Buzz is because we have better special attack than we have physical. Although I think Mega Punch might have actually been better. And gosh dang it, we didn't two shot. I was hoping we would. All right, guys, I made the wrong decision. We're going to get knocked down to 69 HP now. Oh, wait. 68, actually, 68. Yo, Timber just knocked themselves out. There we go, man. Take that, Scribe Mike. Get out of here. Yo, someone said that they like my character's outfit. What do you guys think? Do you think it's too pink? Do you think it's uh, mad cute? What do, you, what do you guys think about my outfit here? Um, can we beat you up? Yes, we can! Dude, I am digging this route. It's just so straightforward. I love it, man. Elite Trainer Tia. Three Pokemon. Knocked Owl coming out. Okay, maybe we should not Bug Buzz on this one. Why? Why hey be dripping? Oh, gosh. Look at the damage, dude. Two more months to go for the eight years. False, you are crazy, man. Thank you so much, dude. Gosh dang. I gotta ask you guys, is drip and drippy, is that just cringy or is it like, has it ascended cringe and now it's cool again? Like, has it become like you say it ironically now and it makes it okay? Or is it still cringe? All right, guys, I could go for a triple kick, but apparently that doesn't work with Parental, so I'm just going to go with a, uh, a Bug Buzz here, which would probably be a bit better against this Kecleon. Kecleon is by default a normal type. I think they might have some kind of type-changing stuff, but... Yo, we got him! Dude, I cannot believe how strong this is. Kyogre is going to carry the game right now. Skiddo coming out. Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, right. Calling stuff cringe is cringe. I mean, that's kind of true. Kind of true. Yo, Syndix, thank you so much for making this spin to pop out the 1,000 bits. Drip is cool. Heck yeah, man. Thank you, dude. Three legendaries. Oh, man. All right, guys. We've got three. We are right. We do have three legendaries. Who would you guys say is my strongest team member right now? And who would you say is the weakest? It's kind of interesting, but I feel like Road Frog is actually our strongest, even though they're not legendary. I mean, even if, okay, even if everyone on my team was 26, I still feel like Road Frog would be the strongest. I think I'm going to keep training Trunks for now, but I do want to make sure I level up everyone else too. Wait, are we in a new town already? Geo Senge Town, that was so quick and so easy. Let's do it, guys. Let's get inside and let's already get to some crud art, man. Oh, we got to check this shop as well. 
Gotta check this shop and see if we've got some new items to buy. Yo, what's up, Ethan? Oh, dude, you did not miss too much, guys. Anyone just tuning in, you didn't miss much. We didn't, uh, it's not like we got a Kyogre that knows Parental Bond. You know, not a big deal. Not one of the best moves in, or abilities in all of Pokemon. Not, not that big of a deal, man. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go get to the first round of Crud Art for the day. On the full video on YouTube, you guys know the drill. Please go down to the comments, leave a timestamp for when Crud Art is over. But if you're down to check out some Crud Art, let's go get to it, man. So the first Crud Art of the day is going to be this one right here. Glittering Cave. It's me. It's Lily Pants, dude. Heck yeah, it is. So we have a bunch of Crud Art from last week still. So I'm going to zoom through the stuff from last week and then try to get to some stuff from uh, today if there is any. I'm not sure if there's any for today quite yet, but we'll see. We'll see. Guys, this was Carp in the Aquarium. Also their favorite Pokemon picture in Pokemon Snap. Heck yeah. We got the two Zenmo Darmanitans. And they both know Explosion. There's poor people down there as well. Pi 2 this time. It's personal. It's the sequel, dude. A big swing face. Buddy Rich, big band. So many Bs right there. And not a single A press. It might look. Guys, it might look like there's an A press right there, but there isn't. But there is a sub from Sofrox. Thank you so much, man. Right down here, guys. So sad. We had to defeat a Dunsparce. Man, are you guys really watching me on a television? That's crazy. I figured you guys would be watching me on like a, a phone or like a little laptop or something, but a full on giant screen right here. That's crazy. Guys, we got Funky E. There we go. Also got ourselves pressing the circle button. I can't tell because you're off camera, but I don't know. You might be jumping right now. You might be jumping and pressing the circle button. Guys, check this out. We've got Gloomy. So, it was a Gloom. We wanted them to evolve into Gudra, so we named them Gloomy. You know, because Gumi. But they actually evolved into Nidoking. So now we have the Nidoking, G Gloom, Gudra combination. All in one. That is amazing. And I love it. And we've got a team update right here, guys. Pokemon fact of the day, sky battles are a thing. I bet you forgot about them. We almost went on a sky battle in the last episode, but we dodged it. We dodged it, man. Poor Mudolf. I think this is before Mudolf died. In honor of the bathroom break, banana jokes. Psycho squatting. Ah, oh, jeez. Psycho squatting IRL. <laughs> that was me with short hair. My hair is pretty long now, though. Guys, pressing the B on the Bubsy. The complete... Well, I don't know if it's complete, but the inbox Bubsy, dude... Pressing the B on the strawberry. Wait. Oh, Psyche, if you think Shroomish is cute, press B. But if you think he's ugly, press A. Oh, jeez. I don't want to press A. But I do I do think Shroomish is ugly. Guys, I'm... I'm pressing A. I'm pressing A. I'm sorry. We got Shroople. <laughs> Gosh dang it, dude. Good ending. Big Gulp got over their soft drink addiction and instead used their Big Gulp to drink water. There you go. Right over here. Dude, Saitama, One Punch Man, destroying that B button. The dark side up here, destroying the A button. Read this please, you crud. I don't know we don't want to be caged like our leader of Team Skull. The only was he could be free is get caught by a trainer like Wahe. I was caged because I killed the Scolipede. Can you get me out? Coughing, what should we do? <laughs> Poor Skuntank. Um, hello? You need something? Yo, DJ KK, it's been a while. I've been doing good since I was in Wahei's team. Yeah! Beta Arceus. Is this real? Is this real? Um, very own Slick Fix. Hello? How does the bike ride on the sand without grind? <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> Guys, this is what I see when I look at Shroomish. This is what I see. You guys are telling me this is cute? Come on, man. Totally 100% a deer. 100%. Guys, this next image is disturbing. I just want to let you know. So just a heads up. But we're going to open it now. Um, I guess this is like a really scuffed taxidermy of a deer. I, I don't even know. Guys, are you ready for something even more disturbing than this? Look at how disturbing. Look at how disturbing. It's Susie. It's Susie, dude. 
<laughs> the tofu's always got the good stuff. He may be gone, but he will neave leave our hearts. He will neave leave our hearts. Poor Moodolf. Gloom evolves into Nidoking. King. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Nidoking King has ability. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, uh, am I a bad am I a bad Pokemon trainer, dude? Rip Moodolf. Oh no. Carby's comeback. Curses. Is this like a is this like a uh, Mojo Jojo Powerpuff Gir Girls thing? Guys, look how cute! Look how cute, dude! Alright, let's go on down here. We've got ourselves... <laughs> got ourselves stinking, stinking road frog. Oh, Moodolf. Moodolf, why? Right down here. Moodolf again. Here's the team in the back. Oh gosh, the CEO of Water after an X and Y stream. They're so rich, dude. My final mood is sadness, no. Why? Rip Moodolf is not the worst Pokemon. Here's the thing, guys. If you're going to say Moodolf is not the worst Pokemon, that means that there is a Pokemon worse that is the worst. So who is who is the worst Moodolf, dude? Look at this, guys. There can only be one. Oh, gosh dang it, man. Dude, I, I'm not reading that word, dude. Oh, gosh. Moodolf. Taking so long to load. Uh. I might need to close some tabs. This one is not loading here. Let me, let me close some tabs real quick. Let me just close some tabs real quick. We got a whole lot right here, dude. Let me try again. Okay, that one doesn't load. <laughs> that one doesn't load. Uh-oh. Um, none of them are loading. Wait, here we go, here we go, okay. Right there, guys, look at it. It's Moodolf, but he's dead. I can't talk right now, I'm making pee. Gosh dang it. Yo, pressing the B on the high heart Dubai? There you go, dude. <laughs> My risk of dehydration just vanishes. Of course it does, man. Guys, are you trying to tell me that Shroomish is cute? Come on. You guys can't look at this and actually think this is cute, can you? Look at it. How is this cute? Psycho. Since you love cute Pokemon, but there is one Pokemon you think is ugly, Shro... Psycho. Since you love cute Pokemon, but there is one Pokemon you think it's ugly is Shroomish, yet it may be true, but to some degree, it may drive people crazy. So I advise you to find some courage to find a real Shroomish and find a brand new job to change your life as a office worker or a police officer, but there is one missing, it's cute dwarpy face. It may drive some fans crazy, even if it's real, even if it's upside down, so Psycho, my friend, so please find a real life Shroomish, squeeze it and show the world how cute Shroomish is, please and thanks. <laughs> Holy crud, man. I did, I read it. Guys, we got a whole, a whole load of crap from Rod G, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through these. We got, <laughs> since Moonolf is a girl, heck yeah, man. We've got the Bubsy 747 Airlines, look at this crud. We've got Mario on the bad side, Luigi on the good side right here. If you die in a Nuzlocke, you'll die in real life. Just like Sword Art in Line and Elmo in Grouchland, what? Why, well, hey, in manga, heck yeah, dude. Last stream, Road Frog got to 69 PP. Nice. This took way longer than I'd like to admit. Crystal Clear would like to battle. Oh my gosh, the Crystal Clear team. Honestly, I think my Crystal Clear team would get destroyed. My guinea pig, Badoo, presses the B to bless this run. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Pressing the B on the Bosch oven. Oh, man. Psycho goes away for a while. Viewers, banana. Guys, pressing the B on the Badoof. That's amazing. Okay, guys. We're going to do 10 more crud arts, guys. 10 more. So let's get a countdown going. Here we go. Here we go. We got one. I guess a count. Let's do a count up. Count up, count up is easier. Let's start at one, guys. Let's start at one. There we got one. Pressing the B on the Ruby manga. That's awesome. Blep starts with V. Oh my gosh, man. I think I finally caught up. Here's the updated version. Look at all these Pokemon. That is so much drawing, dude. I can't reach it, so I had to use my stick. Pressing the B on the Batman with a stick. 
Psycho, the other day I started shiny hunting... Crud. I started shiny hunting Dunspar's via Masuda method to celebrate how well the run is going and hatched it in only 19 eggs. This may mean good things for the run. I hope so. Dude, they named it Psycrud. Hitmontop is just a shroomish... No, it is not just the shroomish with legs, guys. More bee touches. Oh, gosh. Why? Hey, what you do? What your dog doing? Dude, he's pressing the bee. He's pressing the bee. And the kitty pressing the bee, too. Look at the kitty, dude. They're smiling. They're smiling, dude. And guys, the last crud art of the session. <gasps> Organic banana chips. <laughs> pressing the bee. Yo, Chian, thank you so much for these sub, dude. And guys... <gasps> Let's go ahead and shut down some of these cards and let's go get back to some gameplay. Also, Cream, thank you for the sub, dude. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wait, did we get a community thing? Yo, dude, Langeman Glenn, thank you for the five gifted subs, man. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yo, thank you so much, dude. Holy crud. All right, let's go get back to some gameplay, guys. Let's go kick some stinking butt. Oh All right, so we're healed up. We're good to go. We have everything we need to destroy all the stuff, guys. We're in a brand new town. If we can find balls, I want to grab those. I was going to say if we can find any kind of crud. Why is there stinky cheese here? It's not a town of shoes. I am not going to wear the town on my feet. Oh, oh, guys, four chairs. We've got four chairs. Wait, did the music just get wacky? Dude, the music just got wacky. I'm going to go down and grab some balls. It is much more important than anything. Soft sand. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. But what I really, really care about, guys, is finding out, one, if we can crud. I want to find out if we can find a new Pokemon here. If there's any kind of water, we can do that. Or if there's any kind of gym here. I don't think there's a gym. Um, why, hey, was someone from Team Flare here just now? Hmm. What do you guys think? Should I say yes or should I say no? We've got a lot of options ahead of us right now. Check shop, you need balls. You are right, guys. I have a severe lack of balls in my life. Okay, guys, we're gonna say no, but it's not just no. It's no dot dot dot. You don't have to worry about me. I, cha I chased Team Flare Grunt. Dude, do not take credit for my work. Do not. We're gonna go back around. I'm sure this town is not gonna be important for the story at all. We're just gonna go ahead and get through it as quickly as we can. That is a place that's probably not... Dude, that spot in particular, probably not important. I did see a ball back there. So while we look for this... This mart... Actually, the mart's inside the Pokemon Center, isn't it? Metal Coat! Dude, we can use that to... If we give that to our Ditto, right? So we give Metal Coat to Ditto, and then we trade them, and they evolve into a Melmetal, dude. We're gonna go down this way, and we're going to try to get some balls. I'm hoping we can buy Ultra Balls. If all we can get is Great Balls, that's fine, too. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, just some great balls. That's fine. We'll buy... Let's buy 15 of those. You don't have a ditto. You're right. You're right. That's okay, guys. We'll find the ditto at some point. It's gonna be so weird, dude. Ditto is so weird in a randomizer because they don't... They probably won't actually have transform. And I don't even know, guys. Does ditto have anything resembling decent base stats or are they just a terrible Pokemon? Uh-oh. Right! The freebie Lucario! The freebie Lucario is gonna be randomized, dude! A waff. Wait. I have to battle with them? Dude, I don't even get to say no! I don't even get to say no! Cyclist Dudley! Dude, she's got a gloom. Let me tell you, if you're going to evolve this gloom, do not use a sunstone. Trust me. Try and find yourself maybe a, uh, a, uh, leaf stone. That's gonna treat you a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and do bug buzz right here. You don't get Lucario quite yet. Darn it, man. We'll get it eventually, though. So that one didn't hit that hard, but that's fine. Yo, Evan with the 100 bits. Thank you so much, man. Down to 67 HP right now. Going in with a second Bug Buzz. Guys, if we could just find, like, some other moves that are good special attacks, maybe a Surf, that would be so stinking good on this Kyogre right now. Okay, next up is Barboach. You know what, man? I have been slacking on the Bubsy 747. We need to give them some love as well. We can't just focus on Trunks here. Wait, what's discouraging? What did, what did I miss from Diogi there? Level 25 on this guy. We're going to go ahead and hit them with the Ominous Wind. I don't remember what Night Days does. 
I should probably go for Night Days instead, but Ominous Window's pretty good here. Gear Grind going in. I think that increases... Never mind. I, th I was thinking of Shift Gear. Ow! There we go. Ominous Wind. Smack this guy again. All right, guys. Down goes Barboach. Down they go. So with that one down, we're going to go back and heal up. Hopefully, she will not challenge me again. They're the gym leader of Shalor. Guys, we might do Shalor City today. If, we, if we're able to get there in time, I'm, dude, I'm definitely down. I don't think there's that much to do until we get there. I think we might have, like, one more route. Maybe, like, a little bit more. But we're, we're making some progress, man. We're going to get to there in no time. Look at this guy with his stinking suit just standing back there, bro. What are you doing, man? Sit on the rocks? No way. Is that really an option? Hold on. Where? I can't, dude. I can't. Unless there's somewhere else we got rocks. But we got a brand new route. Route number 11. By the ball. Hold on, guys. If there is a rock I can sit on, I gotta go find it. We got to do this one. So you're saying down this way. Dude, I can't sit on those either. I've been tricked, dude. Oh, the Pokemon Center rocks. Okay. Oh, not that. Where is the Pokemon Center? I've already lost it. I've already lost it, guys. Dude, I'm so bad at directions. Is it up here? Nope. Okay, I'm, dude, I'm too lost, guys. I'm just gonna move on. I have no idea where the Pokemon Center is. Left and down. That's, that's fine, that's fine. I have more important things, guys, like beating up this kid. Wait, what? Do you like smooth stones? What are you asking me, guy? Just because you got a hat, you can't ask weird questions like that, bro. Leave me alone. I'm gonna go beat up this guy. I want to get that yellow ball, but first we have to beat up Jant Dudley, another Dudley right here. And we've got a Shelder to get through. I don't think Shelder is going to be that big of a problem for Trunks. We're going to go ahead and blast this guy with a little bit of Bug Buzz. We'll see how that does, does. And don't fight my cat, dude. Do you have a cat named Dudley? Level 22 on Trucks. Trucks? I mean Trunks. I mean... Trucks don't even have trunks, do they? Gothita coming in. Alright, Gothita looks like a great battle for a little bit of bug buzz, dude. Yo guys, if you have a pet, what is your what is your pet's name? Would you would you name your pet Dudley? I mean someone did. That's a pretty cool name. Guys, what if everyone in the entire what if everyone in the entire chat just has a pet named Dudley? Kiki is my cat. Dude, I gotta know. Is that named after Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service? Rick and Chelsea, that's awesome. I don't know why, but I always find it funny when pets just have, like, normal people names. My bunny's name is Noki, that's awesome. <laughs> Luigi, my dog. Dude, that's such a good dog name, dude, Luigi. Sebastian, I love it. My female lizard named Bruce. Nice. My cat Zelda and Peach. Heck yeah, dude. Princesses. Guys, what is that? We got a Choppleberry. I am going to go and find the most ridiculous Pokemon. You guys think my team is crazy? Watch when I get this. This is going to make it the next level. Here we go. Honestly, not bad. Not bad, dude. I'm going to go ahead and do... Gosh, can I do anything without killing it? Okay, Fury Cutter, I know it's going to be super effective, and I know it's going to hit twice, but also, it's such a weak attack, it should not kill. Yeah, we're good. Gooey! Ew! I just got gooed twice, bro. No, not the double goo. Cross Poison coming out. So, Furry Cutter is going to be even stronger now, but I don't think it's so much stronger that we can't do it. Especially if they're going for Drain Punch. That should heal them up a little bit here. We should be good to go. We're fine. We're fine. We're going to get Gooey twice, though. Okay! That was a lot. Do not kill. Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, okay. Guys, we are about to capture a Gothitelle. Probably not going to add that one to the team, but that is still a very cool capture. Great balls going in. Holding down B. Let's go. 
Name it Guthic. I will. That's perfect. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dude, we got it. I mean, we got them so low on HP. I'm not surprised we got that one first try. That was so good. All right. Time for some thick goo. Wait, should we do thick goo or should we do thick or should we do goo thick? I guess goo thick makes more sense because they're gothic, right? So I had that kind of backwards there. We got goo thick. There's a lot of layers to this name, dude. There's like four different layers to it. Man, it's kind of weird because I'm kind of like losing my voice a bit, man. I haven't drank water in so long. Yo, Trevor, what the crud, dude? Trevor with the 10 gifted subs. Holy crud, man. Oh my goodness. Dude, Trevor, thank you so much, man. The stinking MVP. And also Echo coming through with making me drink some water. Thank you, man. Oh Let's drink some stinking water. Dude, thank you again, Trevor. You stinking rock, man. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to organize our boxes and we're going to go and find... We're gonna go find out what ability we have. Oh, we know their ability. We're gonna go find out the moveset, I mean. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that moveset. We have stinking Dazzling Gleam. That is actually a pretty crazy moveset. But I still don't think we're going to go ahead and add them to the team yet. We'll keep them in reserve. We know we can rest easy with the fact that we are going to have some uh, some good Pokemon in the back if we happen to lose our entire team. Time to drink some water. Let's go. Drink it some water. There we go, man. I really want to go and sit on some rocks, but there's the Pokemon Center rocks and we can't sit on them, dude. I'm telling you guys, we just can't sit. Sorry, everybody. We can sit! Oh my gosh. This is crazy. My whole life has changed. Guys, I can't, I, I can't sit on all of them. That's too many. But that's okay. We sat, we sat on plenty. We're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry for doubting you guys. I, I should have trusted it. I should have trusted it. Wait, do I need to heal still? Yes, darn it me. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just put Bubsy up front for now. Cause they do need a little bit of experience here. Trunks is kinda catching too much of these victories. So what I want to do is grab some berry here. We got a citrus berry, that's pretty cool. Can I grab more from the tree? No. So we're at a weird point guys, where I need to get cut to get to that TM. What the, what the crud? I'm just gonna run. <laughs> Doubters in shambles. So, here's the thing, guys. I don't think I can just walk up to this. I have to use Cut to get to it. And using Cut, I might be able to learn it on one of my dudes, but that means it's gonna take up a move slot, and I don't know if I want that. Oh my gosh! Giratina! I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess I would have rather had Giratina than Gothitelle, not gonna lie. But we still got Gothitelle, which is pretty good. But dude, Giratina, that's crazy, man. It's like the Gen 5 sewers all over again. <laughs> Except we're not underground now. Yeah, you, you're right. I probably should have killed him for the experience. But we got Jolteon right here. We'll kill this guy at least. All right. Let's go and defeat Jolteon. Level 28. Holy crud. Okay, we'll go for an ominous wind. But I'm probably not going to do nearly enough damage here. Yeah! Okay, you know what? I was going to swap. That works out perfectly. Thank you very much. Do not bring out Trunks. You know what? Bufasa, I will take that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of coil first. Power Whip? That's not good. Okay, we're gonna swap out right here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna immediately swap out. Thanks a lot, game. So much for coil. We're gonna go ahead... <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna just do Road Frog. Just save us, Road Frog. Dude, Power Whip is actually a pretty scary move. That is a lot of power with not a lot of drawback, dude. It is just strong. Like, who normally gets Power Whip? That's such a good move. It feels like a legendary move. 
I think I'm gonna go for Mega Kick right now. Gosh, even against Road Frog, it's doing a lot, man. It's scaring me. Ow! Please kill. Yes! Okay. Oh, tan growth. Oh, it's only 70 accuracy. So it's basically like a uh, grass thunder, right? I thought it had more accuracy than that. Like, it, I thought it was like a 90 plus accuracy move. So I guess 120 power is not that crazy if it's only 70 accuracy. But we're going to go back and heal and then we're going to keep on going. I probably, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just rip off the band-aid. Let's just go do it. Let's go teach someone cut. Everyone can learn it. Okay, we're going to go teach this one too. Who has a move that I don't really care about? Probably, I guess Trunks with Furry Cutter. I can get rid of Furry Cutter and just get regular cut. So that's an option. I could go to Disco Bay and get rid of something on them. Um, You're right, you're right. Let's just go get a Mon out of the PC and just teach it to them and grab the item and then get rid of them. That's actually a way smarter move. Let's do that. Replace explosion on Zen. I don't want to do that just in case the explosion might actually come in handy, but we'll go ahead and organize right here. We'll go ahead and put away uh, Bubsy here. And let's go take out. Oh. Um, gosh dang it, guys. We'll do it. We'll bring out the Bronzor. And let's go see if I can get this one a little bit of cut action here. It kind of doesn't matter what I get rid of. I'll still try to get rid of the worst move. But it probably doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll get rid of Rap. We'll get rid of Rap right there. There we go, guys. We've got the cut. Is that like the perfect move for a Pokemon with that nickname to have cut? <laughs> Is that like the perfect Pokemon to have cut on? New MVP? No way, man. My level 5 Bronzor. There's no way. They're not going to be MVP. I think they're going to be... Thinking Giratina. They're gonna be MVP F T H M. Most valuable most valuable Pokemon for teaching HMs. Run! Thank you. We're gonna go up this way. Oh, hollow clip! Come on, dude! Not only that, but we actually have another battle before we can go and cut the things. Get out of my life, Professor Sycamore. You're not even my real mom. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We're getting out of here, guys. There's another item to the bottom right as well, so I do want to grab that. Let me make sure I've got something good up front here. Dude, I need to go back and heal. I can't even do this battle. I should have healed while I was already back there. I'm going to rollerblade. I'm just going to zoom. I have a bike as well, actually. Let's use that. We're just going to zoom on our bike right now. I have to get some water and return to a Giratina. Yeah, Giratina's a little bit scary, guys. You might be wondering, how the crud does a Giratina, this giant legendary Pokemon, hide in a tiny patch of grass? But they're just a, they're just a special dude. That's what they do. What was the TM? That's what we're trying to figure out, man. We're trying to get that one. So we're going to zoom over on the bike, and we're going to hopefully get that. No Giratina. Oh, it's a little fish, dude. He's a ninja. Yeah, he's just a rogue. He's got some stealth, you know. Camouflage. They can hide in the altered dimension. There you go. That's the explanation. Okay. Wow. I don't know what a shiny stone is, but it sounds like something that I want to eat. I think we're going to go ahead and put up Trunks and Disco Bay. And just let him rock, dude. Let him rock. Here we go. The first double battle of the day. Let's get him, man. Senior and Junior, Bob and Anne with a Masquerain and a Clefairy. Making it lag just a little bit. We've got some not that strong Pokemon, so hopefully we'll be just fine, dude. Just fine. So we're going to go ahead and blast this dude. We're going to go for Double Kick. Oh, gosh. We're going to go for Fusion Flare, I guess, on Masquerain. And we're going to go for a bit of Bug Buzz on Clefairy right here. Looks like they've only got these two Pokemon, so anything we can kill, we're good to go. Hear it? That did so little. All right, not very effective. Apparently, bug type is not very effective on fairy type. Good to know. Good to know. Blast sky with some fire. That did not do very much either. I don't really have the types for this battle, do I? The karate guy with the cliff fairy. Heck yeah, dude. Ow! 
I think it's time to swap out both of my guys. I think we're going to go over to Big Gulp, and we're going to go also over to, uh, let's see, also over to Road Frog here. Because I just don't really have the types for this battle right now, man. I anticipate a death at the next gym. That might happen, guys. Our team... The problem is, this game is balanced around you having the experience share on, and the fact that I have it turned off, and I'm also spreading out all my experience across six Pokemon, is kind of making it so we're getting a little bit underleveled. So we're gonna have to either grind, or we're gonna have to just, uh, hopefully not die. Uh, the other option I could do, something that could help me out, is I could... Uh, let's go ahead and do Mega Kick here. But I could just, like, pick three Pokemon on my team and just overlevel them and just say forget it to everyone else. That's an option as well. I just don't know who I would choose if I were to do something like that. Road Frog getting, getting blasted right now. No, don't hit yourself in confusion, dude. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. They're confused as well, but this is not a good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and swap out right now. And we're gonna go back over to Disco Bay just because they can probably take a hit. And Road Frog is confused, which I don't like. So we're gonna, but I can't go to Bufasa because they got Pedal Dance, don't they? So I'm going to try again. I'm going to try again. Hopefully we will win. Just don't hit yourself in confusion again, Road Frog. Just turn on the experience share. Oh, I probably should. <laughs> oh, get hit. Get hit. No. No. Okay, it's on Road Frog. It's on Road Frog. We're fine. We're fine. Don't hurt yourself. No, dude. Come on, game. I have to keep swapping. My hair feels weird, dude. What do I do? I don't know how to get out of this. I don't know how to get out of this, dude. I think if we go to Bufasa, we might be fine unless they go for a move that's going to kill me anyways. Okay, guys, what if I go to Bufasa on Disco Bay's turn and then on Road Frog's turn, I use a healing item? Okay. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna swap to Bufasa. Not fight. We're not gonna fight. We're gonna go to our bag. We're gonna go to our HP restoration. And we're going to go and get out of Super Potion. And just use that on Road Frog. Just use that on Road Frog. We're fine. Okay. We'll see how this does. I don't want to sacrifice anything quite yet. But we might have to. I just keep getting hit by confusion. They snap out of their own confusion. Do not do that on Bufasa. No, that's what I was worried about. Oh gosh, it did more than 50%. Here's what I have to do, guys. I have to spend Buf Bufasa's turn healing themselves up just to survive. And then I have to let Roadfrog attack and hopefully take down one Pokemon. If I can do that, we're fine. But I'm still confused. I am still confused. Mega Kick going in. Do not get confused. Do not miss. I need the stinking Clefairy out of my life. Please, dude. Octazooka misses. Pedal Dance is not going to miss, but it's on Road Frog this time. Good. That is actually really good. I'm confused. Yes! Yes! Die! Oh my gosh, we got him! We got him! I'm so happy. Level 23 on Trunks as well. That's great. That's great. Disco Bay 23. That's beautiful. Not nasty plot. Let's just go Blue Flare. I don't care, man. Just get him. I'm not even gonna. You know what, man? What do I do? We're gonna stay in and just hopefully not die. I'm just gonna go for judgment. We're not gonna hit ourselves in confusion. We're not about to get blasted. We're fine. Blue Flare goes in first. We're good. There we go, man. There we go. That was actually scary. I just saw my team die in my head. Like, that was it. We were so close to just losing right now. I am not going to learn Poison Sting, dude. Give up on Poison Sting, yes. I gotta go back and heal. I know I'm so close to this item right now, I just want to grab it. You know what? We can do this. Let me just make sure we got a smart Pokemon Pokemon up front. Put Bufasa up front here. All I want to do is grab this item. And you know what, guys? Forget the rules. Forget all that crud. We are underleveled. I am gonna go ahead and turn the experience share on. Like, my team, aside from Road Frog, even Road Frog to some extent is underleveled. Like, dude, if we're gonna if we're gonna play the six Pokemon game, dude, we're turning it on. The game is balanced around it. We're turning it on, dude. Cause that was really scary. Let's grab this item here. Sucker Punch. I don't know if I want that one, but that's pretty cool. Okay, guys, we're gonna go back. We're going to heal. We are going to get 
Baka off the team and grab someone a little safer here. You're way overpowered the legendaries. Okay. Okay, I'll turn the experience share back off. I'll do it. Let me just let me just move this guy away. Get back my Bubsy. My level 21 Bubsy fighting level 28 trainers, dude. Oh gosh. I don't know, man. I really want to leave it on, but I I don't want people to think that I'm like being a wuss with my run, you know? Mm. It's it's tough, man. Cause it's like I I am kind of overpowered. My team is a little bit ridiculous, but also I am just like one bad battle away from losing everything. Hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna leave it on for now. If we start to get, if we start to catch up in levels, we might turn it back off. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it on for now. I, I know Road Frog is 27. Like if if we were just looking at Road Frog and maybe Big Gulp, Crud's not that bad. But everything else, oh gosh, what do I do, man? I feel like I'm a loser if I turn it off. No, I feel like I'm a loser if I turn it on. Okay, we'll pull it. I'll, I'll leave your guy, my fate in your guys' hands. I'm doing a pull. Starting pull. Here we go. Whatever you guys vote, I'll do it. I'm leaving my fate in your hands. All right. 82% of you, 80% of you are saying to leave it on, to turn it on. It is made to be on. It is designed as a feature you're supposed to have. And I am doing a challenge as a Nuzlocke. And here's the thing, guys. What is the alternative, right? If we get to the gym and I'm underleveled, I'm not going to just, like, do the gym anyways, right? So if I don't turn the experience share on, I'm just going to grind anyways, right? So... You have three legendaries. Ugh. That's true. Hmm. On is better than watching you grind for two hours. That's kind of how I feel as well. Well, 80% voted yes. I'm just going to turn it on. For the 20% who didn't want it, I'm sorry, guys, but... I just... I don't want the run to die. <gasps> We're turning it on. If I'm like, yo, I'm just stomping everything and we have just like no chance of dying and things are crazy, we might turn it back off. But for right now, that was really close. We are at a point where one bad battle can ruin us. Also, Raikou, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Okay. It also means I don't have to force myself to use certain Pokemon, which is great. I could just like have everyone get leveled up, which is awesome. Yo, KD Rod with the five gifted community subs. KD Rod, thank you so much, dude. Huh. That is true, guys. If I turn off the experience share, the chances of me having to play Bubsy 3D are reduced. So maybe I should turn it off. We're going to go up here and try to beat up this guy. Okay, never mind. We're going to go up this way. Reflection Cave. We have a little bit of a uh, mountain over here to check out. So we'll see what this is. That's probably a sky battle. We're going to dodge that one. We are going to dodge that one, dude. I don't know if sky battles are a good idea. I don't exactly know how those are going to work during a Nuzlocke. But I do know I want to go inside Reflection Cave and hopefully find a brand new Pokemon. Yo, we gotta kill a guy. Let's do it, man. Designer Mia with a Torchic. Come on, game. Gotta give me something tougher than that. I do all this stuff. I turn on the experience share, and this is what I get. I mean, I am still under leveled. Like, Rogue Frog and Big Gulp are not really, but, dude, it's gonna take me so much effort to get everyone caught up. Karina has a level... 32. Guys, the gym leader that we were probably about to fight in like less than an hour has a level 32. Yo, hecky good. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub, dude. Let's find ourselves a brand new Pokemon. Dude, Logan as well. Guys, thank you so much. Balls. I can see my reflection. Due to the reflection, there are two balls to grab. Oh, here we go. What are we getting? Come on, dude. Oh my, oh jeez. All right, to be fair guys, it is level 22, which does mean that it's gonna evolve in just one level, so that's pretty cool. 
Let's go ahead and blast this guy a little bit. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to do a second one though. Why does everything have power whip? Game, ow! I'm swapping. Come on, Rogue Frog, save us, buddy. Bro, I'm at a point where I'm scared of a level 22 Oshawott. What is this game? What is this, the starter cave? Yeah, we had Torchic and now we've got Oshawott. Oshawott is about to be ours though. Here we go, guys. We are going to capture us an Oshawott. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah, keep doing swift. I'm about to swiftly capture you, buddy. We're getting him this time. We are getting him this time. Holding down B. Dude, I'm actually, I'm pressing it hard, man. I'm pressing that B button so hard. Yes. Come on, come on, dude. Power of going out. Not gonna be super effective like it was on Trunks, at least. Critical hit. Gotta keep trying. We just gotta keep trying. Never give up. Come on, just get captured. Just get captured. There it is, man. We got ourselves an Oshawott. They're going to evolve in just one level, so it is very tempting to put them on the team and evolve them. But also, I am pretty set with my team right now, so I don't know. Rapid Spin sounds like a great move for uh, Disco Bay, but I'm gonna ditch it anyways. Yo, Shane, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man. Guys, what do we name Oshawott? How do we scramble Oshawott's name to make a new name? Um... Hmm... Oshawott... Name it Tepig! We could name it Tepig! Fred? Alright guys, we got Fred! There they are, dude! We're gonna get the crud back out of here because I need to heal up just a little bit here. Feels kind of weird to have to heal up after fighting an Oshawott, but it is what it is. And those signs said they prohibit, guys. We cannot do a bicycle. We cannot do a rollerblade inside the uh, building there. I can actually do that out here, though. Or not not inside the building, inside the cave. Hey, it's Fred. Heck yeah, it's Fred, dude. I'm going to leave them inside the PC, guys. I don't even know if I want to check out their ability because their ability is going to change in one level anyways. I don't even know if it's worth checking out. <laughs> Fred, Fred, and Freddy. Guys, do I have to name the next Pokemon Fred and the next Pokemon after that Freddy? Rare candy. That's true. If we got a rare candy, we could do that. I'm going to go ahead and check their ability anyways, but their ability is Torrent. Guys, they're a pirate. They're torrenting everything. And then we need Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, that's normal. Is Torrent a thing it can normally get? All right, we're getting back in that cave. I'm pretty sure if we get through this cave, we'll be able to go and fight Dave. Or, uh, Corinna. We'll be able to go and fight Corinna, dude. Get to that gym. <laughs> nice randomizer. I mean, hey, sometimes it just randomizes to be unrandom. He's only torrenting Pokemon movies. I do not need any Haunter in my life. We already know we can get as many Haunter as we want. Get him out of here, dude. That was just Susie. What do we got over here? Ooh, luxury ball. That has got to be the smoothest, most luxurious ball of all time. Okay, let's go up here. I don't know what this is. Gosh dang it, Oshawott. I just have to hope that I can easily run because I do not feel like getting slapped with the power whip. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Fred, Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scoopy. Aw, oh, jeez. Oh, I see. We can actually get ambushed from above. And right here, we're going to get ambushed by... Oh, we got Ninetales. Pretty cool Pokemon right there. Guys, can you count as high as the number of tails that Ninetales has? <laughs> let's split up, gang. That could have been Scooby right there. All right, let's go beat up this girl. Let's do it. Here we go. Performer Noel with two Pokemon. Gabite coming out. I believe Gabite is a dragon type, so we're not going to be able to do a whole lot to that. We could just smack him with some uh, some Mega Punch, though, so I guess that's fine. 
Honestly, I don't know if Dragon is weak to bug. Not weak, but I don't know if it's resistant to bug. So I might have should have just gone for bug buzz, but yeah, well. Gonna go for minimize. As long as we don't actually miss here, we're gonna be able to take them down no problem. If we miss, that's more of a disaster. Looks like we're fine though, dude. There we go, get them out of here. I can even count to the number of letters in Ninetales' name. Holy crud. Guys, how do you spell Ninetales? Next up, we got Floet. All right, Floet, you're about to get destroyed by my Bubsy 747. Level 26. Look at that Floet, man. That's such a cool color. We're going to go smack him with that overheat. Please die. How does that do so little? How? How is Bubsy so weak, dude? I just don't get it, man. Ow. All right, Bubsy getting out of here. How is... <laughs> how is Bubsy my weakest Pokemon? I don't understand, dude. Okay, we're going to go to uh, Bufasa, I guess. I don't know what type this dude is. AZ Floet. I don't know what that is. Oh. The one that he waited 3,000 years for, right? Oh, that is pure fairy. Oh, okay. Using crunch, that's fine. Not gonna damage this guy. Ow. I might not kill him right here because I'm probably not about to get a critical. Gosh dang it, dude. What is that? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. This is the flow end from the lore, dude. That's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah, that might have been AZ's flow end, but that battle was easy. That was an easy flow end. Ooh. I could learn Iron Tail. Do you guys think that I should get Iron Tail in place of Nasty Plot? Now, Nasty Plot could be good comboed with my Blue Flare, but it's not going to be good comboed with Cross Chop. No. No! Cross Chop is carrying anyways. Alright guys, alright, we'll skip it, we'll skip it. Bubsy level 22, man. Finally getting some experience on the team. That's the only thing I'm worried about, man, is Road Frog getting over leveled. Like, everything else is fine. Hold hands? Road Frog, this is not a hand holding stream. You cannot learn hold hands. I don't even know what Hold Hand does. That is super lewd, man. That is super lewd. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and leave Trunks up front, I guess. Now, you know what? Let's get let's get Disco Bay some love here. Hold Hands lets you hold hands. Oh, that was some lag right there. We're going down. That's a ball. We're getting that one. Yikes, dude. Oh my gosh, we got the Sunshine Cast form right there. W Kins, let's hold hands. Jeez, dude. I went the wrong way. I think we have to go around the top side if we want to grab this one. Oh, come on, game. Just let me go grab it. Just let me grab it. Oh, Growlithe. Such a cool Pokemon. Hold hands has no known effect in battle. When a Pokemon uses this move in a double battle or triple battle, it and its target ally will perform a brief animation together. So it's actually useless. It's basically like Splash. Ooh, big pearl. We're gonna go back around and we're gonna keep on trying to make our way through this place. Do you guys think we'll actually survive our run through this cave? Do you have any hope for our survival? This guy's got a... This guy's got a... I guess a carrot? He's got like a... Shift, he's got a shift six for a nose. I could not run away. Run. There we go. Hold hands is so cute. It doesn't do damage, but it does do cuteness. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make our way through. She saw me in the reflection. That's cheating, dude. Three Pokemon. Cleric Mallory with an Omanite. Alright, I kind of wish we had a grass attack on this dude right here. I'm just letting Trunks get some experience. Let them get overleveled here. I could go for triple kick. I guess we'll do that. It, does, it doesn't play nice with our uh, some of our stuff. Alright, that was probably the wrong idea there. Never mind, that did a lot. 
Not as much as I was hoping for, but I guess Triple Kick powers up with each attack there. And we are poisoned. I am now sad. Let's go ahead and hit this guy again. Okay, so down goes Omanite, but we still have two Pokemon to go, man. Hey, it's the Glitch Man. What's up, dude? Alright, get smacked by that poison, and now, what do we have? Gengar coming out. Alright, I wish I had a strong Psychic or a strong Ground Attack. The only strong Ground Attack I have is Fissure, and that doesn't really count. I guess we'll go over to just Big Gulp. Just try to make it work. Do not be Mega Gengar. I didn't even think about that, but it could be Mega Gengar right now. Okay, it's not. It's just regular Gengar. We're going to go for a bit of uh, Water Spout right here. What is that? Oh, withdraw. I think it's just boosting defense. Yep. Gengar has levitate. Oh, but it's all it's all randomized. Abilities are randomized, so they probably won't have that. Ow! I don't know how much more there is to this cave, but I'm feeling like I should run back and heal. But it's such a long run back, you know? Alright. Disco Bay 25. That's what we like to see, man. Blastoise coming out as well. You know what? We've got Thunderbolt. We're just going to stay in here. I think we can take this guy down super easily. That is kind of the crazy thing, man. If we happen to fight Pokemon that have high experience, combo that with the experience share, we can get some crazy stuff going, man. Mega soon. I hope so. I really should go back and heal. I'm getting scared. Heal the poison just in case. I will at least heal the poison. We will do that. It's, the thing that scares me, right, is if we get into a battle like we just had before with that double battle where, you know, you need every little ounce of strength you can get just to survive. And I worry that if we don't go into a battle at full HP, we're setting ourselves up for disaster, you know? I don't know if we're going to get the chance to heal in this place, though, because we might. Okay, we can't go that way. Let's go down. We'll go around. I don't know. I don't think she's going to get to heal us. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, we get a heal. Oh, my gosh. The mid-cave heal. There we go. There it is, man. We're safe, guys. We're safe. Safe to go beat up the girl with the orange on her head. Talking about her darling fiancé. Elite Trainer Mark sending out a Glaceon. We are about to obliterate the best evolution right now. Much needed heal, for sure. Alright guys, watch the damage right now. Super effective. Please do at least half. Oh my gosh, it did so little. Guys, I don't think I like Triple Kick. Why does everything have good grass attacks? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! We were dead if that was a critical. Um, Road Frog, just, just save us, Road Frog. I'm gonna go ahead and smack this guy with a Brick Break. I'm sure they're going to die like it ain't no thing. They're gonna have to recharge right there. That's fantastic. Double Edge. That's fine. That's fine. Take that recoil. Come on, get him out of here. And we're good. Okay. And that is why we need Experience Share. Yeah, for sure. I mean, my levels are starting to go up, but again, guys, remember the next gym leader is going to have a level 32. 32, dude. Bubsy is level 23. How am I going to be any use against a level 32 without leveling them up, you know? Let's go ahead and put someone else up front just for a minute, just until I get back to this healing point. Dude, Road Frog has been carrying so many battles so far. But even they are not unstoppable. Even they are not unstoppable. Something really big it could take them down, and that could be scary. It could be scarier than a hairy frog. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and put Trunks back up front for now. Foreshadowing. Guys, I'm not foreshadowing anything. Road Frog is not going to die. Oh my gosh, dude. Volcanion. He has imposter. Oh my gosh. Just let me run. Please. Okay. Okay. Dude, please, dude. The Among Us. Why? Why all the memes? I just want my energy root, and I want to get out of here. I'm running away. 
This is why we grind, exactly. Tierno, do not ruin this for me. Do not call me Wkins, please. Head smash? Guys, do I want head smash? I kind of depend on flash. Do don't flash me, Tierno. I'm not asking for that. This is not that kind of stream. I'm just going to run right on by. Leave Tierno in the dust. <laughs> head flash. Oh, look at him, guys. Litleo. This Pokemon is mad litty, dude. Please tell me Terrakian can learn that. Is head smash a rock attack? Uh, let's see. They can. This also damages the user terribly. That sounds really scary, actually. I could also learn Sucker Punch on Kyogre. I don't know if I want that. I don't, man, I, I don't know if I want to learn that. That sounds like some scary stuff, man. Recoil in a Nuzlocke is very scary. It's fine, but dude, what if it's not fine? Half of the damage is dealt as recoil. That is so much. Like, I I don't want to do that, dude. I just want to beat up this guy, steal his headband. Think about this, guys, right? What if I smack a Blissey? What if I smack a Blissey with that attack? Am I just dead instantly? Okay, we're going to go for a bit of bug buzz on this guy. Look at that. Not enough to kill, but just so much damage. Pin Missile going out, I don't think it's going to do a whole lot. Dude, Egg Balls. There's been a lot of cast form. I've actually been surprised, but maybe I shouldn't be. Think about it, guys. Pokemon that have multiple forms are just more likely to show up in the Nuzlocke because every single form has a chance to be randomized into, you know? So Pokemon with a lot of forms, it's actually not that surprising that they're showing up a lot. You'd have to use a Fighting-type move on Blissey anyways. That's true. That's true. All right. Let's go battle this guy. Mirrors are magical powers. Do you guys think that mirrors are magic? Carbink? Okay. That's not scary. Carbink is not scary. It's a rock fairy type, right? I don't actually know what that would be weak to, but I guess I'm going to go for Bug Buzz. I don't expect this to do very much. I should probably swap, actually. Ugh. Did so little. What did he do? What is that? Okay, we're fine. He dropped my speed. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and build up the furry cutter. We're gonna go ahead and just give ourselves a few turns, let this stuff build up to maximum power, and just destroy. Dragon Dance. Okay, is that scary though? What does that do? Attack and speed rose. Okay, we need to kill him a little bit quickly then. A little bit quickly. Um, that didn't do a whole lot more. Um, I'm sure they're fine. People are saying they have terrible attacks, so even if they power up, I think we're good. There we go. Now we're talking. That is the damage I was looking for. And now that we've powered up Fury Cutter, it should go and destroy the next Pokemon easily, right? Dude, if we get Water Spout on Kyogre, that'll be insane. That'll actually be ridiculous. Heat more coming out. Well, speaking of Water Spout, maybe I should actually go over to Big Gulp for this one. Yeah, let's do it. I could do Fury Cutter, but I don't think this is the Pokemon for that. Yeah, I don't think Fury Cutter on Heatmore was the right move. We're going to go for Water Spout here. I'm kind of surprised we get to go first. Dude, we destroyed that guy. Kyogre will get Surf. You're probably right. That will be so good. Because I think every Pokemon can learn every HM, so... Assuming this game does have Surf, which I'm pretty sure it does, we will get that. I'm gonna go ahead and... Leave Trunks up front and hopefully not regret it. I don't, dude, I gotta save real quick. Whenever I see a little bit of lag, I just get so scared that it makes me want to save. So I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. I think we're good. Let's keep on moving on. I'm not going to walk into the shadows. No shadows for me. I will go and walk into this guy's line of sight. Lock eyes with this beautiful man. Let's go. Look at this guy. We got Elite Trainer Thomas with a why not. Of course he would have a why not. <laughs> Username checks out. Do you guys think that I have any hope of making it through the next gym today? 
we're going to destroy this guy. Why not? Oh my gosh. You're pretty close. That's what I'm hoping for, man. That's what I'm hoping for. Is that a double battle? That looks like a double battle. If we're going dubs, I'm going to go ahead and put up Road Frog. And we're putting up uh, Bufasa as well, guys. We're going big. Let's go. Oh, please tell me this is like the final boss. Please tell me this is the final boss of this dungeon. Couple Anne and Bob. Okay. Tangela and Herder. That is actually really good. Because I can go for a cross chop on the, the guy. And you know what? I can just go for a mega kick on the guy as well. We're going to go for a mega kick on that guy and a cross chop on that guy. I could go for blue flare on Tangela as well, but not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and smack this guy first. Get that guy out of here. Level 27, man. Holy crud. May I ask you a question? Can I write you a copy pasta? Can you guys hit me with your best fusion bolt? What the crud? No, can you guys hit me with your best Pokemon puns? Magician? They just stole my crud. How dare you, Tangela? How dare you? I'm gonna go smack them with that. I'm gonna go smack them with that. Get him out of here, dude. I'll absolutely do that, crud man. That joke had me coughing and wheezing. Slugma. Of course, Sala. Bro, which emulator are you using? I'm using, uh, Citra. What a tangled mess. Oh, gosh. Berry juice? I don't think you guys can come up with a berry juice pun. That's impossible. I guess we'll keep on going. Are we safe to battle? Oh, yeah, we're safe. We'll let... You know what? We'll even let Disco Bay lead this one. You, you know what, guys? Bubsy's got this. Bubsy's got this. Let's go. I believe in Bubsy. There's no way we're going to die here. Ha! Happening. Oh yeah, this is happening. That pun had me wheezing. That would be berry juice difficult. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of... Uh, I, dude, I don't know what Night Days does. I should probably check. This guy's normal. I can't even do Ominous Win, guys. We're going to go for Night Days, I guess. Is it just nap time? No, it actually damages. Heck yeah. This is ridiculous, man. I'm going to go ahead and just do Overheat. I can't kill anything. Why is my damage so low? Please kill. Thank goodness, man. Oh, right, right, right. Zoroark's move. That's what that was. I kind of forgot about that one. A second happening? What are the odds that they have two of the same Pokemon? Alright, guys. Let's go ahead and send out a Disco Bay for that one. What are the chances of another Legendary? I don't know. Bearing in mind, we could surprise you with a juicy pun. Gosh dang it, dude. When you guys read a bad pun, does it make you want to facepalm or does it make you go, Oh, nice. I just want out of this cave. I just want out of this cave, but I also want to grab some balls. What do we got? A prism scale. Puns are great. They can be pretty great. Uh-oh. I just... What the crud, Hydreigon? I just feel like this cave keeps on going and going. It feels like we're never going to get to the end of it, man. I just want to run. Can I go down this way? Let me out. Did I just backtrack? No, I just backtracked. It's okay. I backtracked back to the healer. There we go. That's totally what I was planning on. You can never leave. Oh, gosh. I can never get out of this place. I'm going to spend my entire life here. Please don't. Please don't do it. Imposter, why? I honestly don't even know, guys. Which Pokemon naturally has Imposter? I, I don't even know where that ability comes from. Not going this way. Really, Ditto? Oh, I thought Ditto just used Transform. Oh, Ditto's hidden ability. 
Oh, P. Shaw, regular Alakazam. Yeah, right, man. Like, I would want a regular Intimidate Alakazam right here. I got me a Mega Alakazam already. Okay, we're gonna go around this way. Go up here, down here. I'm trying to remember exactly how to get back to where we were. So I think I have to go up. Crud, man. You know, it's times like this that I wish I wasn't so stubborn about repels, but the main thing to note is that repels are not going to stop you from higher level Pokemon. In this case, I think we are higher level than the Wild Encounter, so we probably would be fine. But I just... Oh, gosh, I forgot about that, Crud. Yeah, I think... I remember hearing people say that Intimidate is one of the best common abilities... Like, you know, excluding, like, the super rare crazy stuff. It's one of the better, just, like, common uh, Pokemon abilities. Can't use repels, because what if you encounter a shiny? That's true, dude. That's true. Cloud9. No thanks. Pun Master Louie. Heck yeah, man. That's such a good name, too. Look at this encounter, eh, man? What are you? What even are you? Still better than the slow start. Do you guys think that slow start or truant is the worst ability? Or is there, a, is there an ability worse than those? The exit. Beautiful sunshine, beautiful light. Oh, Shalor City. We made it, dude. We made it to a new Pokemon Center. That means it's time for some crutter, but it's also time to check out some randomized items. Let's stinking go. All right, guys. So let's go check out these items, and then we'll get to some crud art here. So right on back this way. I don't think this guy's going to have anything randomized, but we'll check. Nope. That's fine. That's fine. Over on this side, what do we have? Come on. Stone Edge. Okay, so it's a bunch of TMs. I don't know. Is Stone Edge good for... Is that going to be good for um, Terrakian? Yo, Modkin with the Prime sub. Thank you so much, man. Stone Edge is very strong. Do you guys think I should spend 10,000? Keep in mind, they might not be able to learn it. But maybe they could. And 10,000 is not that expensive. I'm back for the art crud. Heck yeah, man. All right, guys. We're going to spend the 10,000. We're going to risk that on Terrakian and hopefully get it. Let's get back out of here. Let's go check out our TMs. Let's see what we got. They can learn it. They can learn it. Holy crud. Bufasa. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. So here's what it comes down to. P-Fire gifting the five community subs. Holy crud, P-Fire. Thank you, man. Gosh dang. Guys, do you think it's time to get rid of Nasty Plot or do we get rid of Blue Flare? I feel like Nasty Plot's got to go. I feel like Nasty Plot, it's time for you to go. Get rid of Coil. Dude, but Coil? Coil is so good comboed with Cross Chop and Stone Edge. Think about it, man. Dude, I can't get rid of Coil. We're getting rid of Nasty Plot right here. <gasps> Edge of Stone. Heck yeah. All right, guys. So here's the plan. I'm going to go take a quick bathroom break. I'm going to need you guys to discuss something other than bananas. When we come back, we'll do some crutter, and then we're going to go and do what we need to do to get to this next gym. So I'll be back in just a minute, guys. Actually, we've discussed before if Megas were a mistake. So while I'm gone, I need you guys to discuss. Were Z-moves a mistake? I'll be right back.
How did you know? 64 Sunshine, how did you know? Psycho back in 3, 2, 1. How did, how did you know that? Am I that predictable? Guys, no one has been spending points on water. Um, I increased the points required. And I guess... I guess it worked. I'm... Oh, gosh. There we go. Thank you, Dwan. I was going to say, dude, I'm, I'm like going to drink water on my own without any points because I just need some water, man. Okay, Yuki as well, making me drink some water. Thank you, Yuki. Okay, okay, guys, we're good. Thank you so much, liar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gosh. I have to dramatically read the walrus coffee pasta again, dude. Why does this pop up every stream? Okay. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna go and open up some random Pokemon X and Y song. We already dramatically read it to the Pokemon Center theme before. So I'm gonna open up some random Pokemon X and Y song. The first one I open, no matter how the tone is, whether it's terrible or not, we're gonna read it to that. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up. I'm opening up the Walrus Copy Pasta. I'm kinda losing my voice a bit, so hopefully I don't have any voice cracks while trying to read this. So let's go ahead and let me go mute the game real quick. Uh, not that. Okay, let's go ahead and mute that one. Pokemon X and Y OST. Read it underwater. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. I don't know what this song is gonna sound like, but this is the one we're gonna read it to, guys. Here we go. Hello. I am currently 15 years old, and I want to become a walrus. I know there's a million people out there just like me, but I promise you, I'm different. On December 14th, I'm moving to Antarctica, home of the greatest walry. I've already cut off my arms and now slide on my stomach everywhere I go as training. I'm in... I may not be a walrus yet, but I promise you, if you give me a chance and the support I need, I will become the greatest walrus ever. Thank you all. Dude, I stumbled! I stumbled in the middle, man! I'm so embarrassed, dude! Oh. Yo, Rai, thank you for making me drink some water, man. Good job you did it. Dude, I know I flubbed it, man. Try it again. No, dude, I don't want to read it again. I have to start over because of the stumble. No, dude, no. Guys, we're going to go do some credit. That's what we're going to do. So let's go back to our organic banana chips. Let's keep on going. Guys, did this just happen? While I was gone, did this happen? Be honest, man. Crud infinity? Internet infinity? Here we... Where he... Where he got his ideas? Oh, crud. This feel is cute. Shroomish is cuter. I press the B key on me gosh dang computer. <laughs> there you go, man. Wait. No, Shroomish is not cuter. Yo, Charizard, level 15 on the big screen. That's awesome. Pressing the B on the Crash Bandicoot trilogy? Heck yeah, dude. Yo, pressing the B on the Gifted Fridge Magnet? Yo, dude. Ready to watch some Pokemon right here. Look at the puffer. They're so ready. The largest B button. Have you guys ever seen a B button bigger than this one? Found the shiny Dunsparce and had to press B, of course. Heck yeah. Guys, Beta Charizard. It's Beta Charizard. Pressing B on the Broly. That is Maybe Broly is actually the bigger B button, dude. My favorite racing of all time. Better than Mario Kart... Dude, Banjo-Kazooie in Sonic Sega All-Stars, though. That's pretty cool. It's got the uh, the nuts and bolts designs as well. Look at that, guys. Disco Bay spinning that hot fire. Look at this Switch game collection. That is crazy. I'm trying really hard not to burp, guys, but I just burped a lot. Yo, I actually, I actually have this game. Tokyo School Life. I have that. I've beaten that game. Uh, I don't have any of these other ones, though. I kind of wanted to get Galgun, but that's a little bit lewd. I would not stream that one for sure. 
I did it. The five handheld stretch. That is dedication, man. Look at all these generations of Pokemon. Or I guess all these generations of handhelds all in one. That's so cool. Trunks? I don't know. DBZ. Dude, look at him. Oh my gosh, the Illuminati. The Illuminati is right there. Webster's New World, Sonic and the Sonic Dark Brotherhood Chronicles, dude. Sonic Universe, so many V presses. Crud art is what makes this series change my mind. Dude, I know a lot of people skip over the crud art, but it just makes me so happy. It makes it feel more like our thing, you know? Instead of just being like a random playthrough of Pokemon, it makes it feel more like a, a whole community thing, you know? I love it, dude. <laughs> Toasty boy, you hear? Guys, we've got Beta Muck. Holy crud. Why does this Wahei look like Yukari Takeba from Persona 3? I don't know. I don't know. There it is, guys. There's Vegeta's foot. Or I guess Trunks' foot for the triple kick. It's right there. Yo, the 3D art of Big Gulp? That's so cool. That looks really awesome, dude. Yo, it's Mevni as well. Yo, what's up, Mevni? That's really, really cool. It almost looks real, dude. It can almost looks like an actual 3D printed, printed plastic figure or something, you know? That's awesome. Supersonic Cajun. Look at him go, dude. Pressing those B buttons. Look at that. Dunsparce open, Google image searching Dunsparce. Yo. Guys, we got the wienerd. We got the wienerd. They're a coughing now. Of course they are. Guys, look at all these controllers. That is just so many. That's so many controllers. So many chances to press B. Even chances to press circle. Opens every window and door to let the air come in. Everyone in the plane. Gosh dang it. Oh, guys. Pressing the B on the Game Boy Advance. And not only that, guys. We got ourselves wienerd. Look at him, man. Pressing the B on the on the browser button during Crud Art. It's Crud Art Inception. Yo. Guys. Can you find a B on this to press? So you can have three layers deep of Crud Art. I see a B. I see a B to press. You gotta look for it, though. Your daily Slurpuff. Look at them. Look at them. Right down here. Pressing B on the amp. Heck yeah, dude. All I'm able to see now with Wahei's outfit plus hair. Do you guys really think they look like a Persona 3 character? I mean, I guess they do look pretty similar, huh? Alright, guys. Let's do 10 more Crud Arts here. My setup when watching Psycho, the whole theater, the whole theater, that'd be so cool. Yo, we got Trunks, there they are, looking beautiful. When Psycho sees a trainer on a route, casually approach child, what the crud? Pressing B in VR chat. Dude, can you just like draw in the air and then press things? That's awesome. Guys, you are about to lose the game. I don't know if there's, like, any significance to the red. I can't tell if there's any significance to the red, but there you go, dude. Alright, guys. Psycho, I do not understand your personal honest opinion. You said you're not into the Poke Girls because they're too young for you. I am seven years younger than you, Psycho. You're awesome as crud. I don't give a crud what you think of me. So if you want us to be equals and I'm not the into the Bachelorettes in Stardew Valley, they're not cute... And Moe compared to Bachelorettes from Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons. So we're even right, crud? Dude, I actually really stinking love Harvest Moon. Especially the GameCube one. Yo. Dude, this Courage the Cowardly Dog stuff right here actually kind of freaked me out when I was a kid. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> I will survive. I'm on vacation in the Dominican Republic, so fun fact, the Coco Bongo from The Mask is a real place, and it's a popular chain of clubs. What the crud, dude? There you go, man. Okay, I think we're at one left, guys. 
Wait, let's do two more. Let's do two more. We got this one, dude. And Vegeta literally every time Trunks attacks. My baby boy. Oh, man. All right, guys. Let's close down the Cronart Art session for now. And let's go get back to some gameplay. We are trying to go and stomp this gym. But I think we have a little bit of a way to go. We have to, like, go visit some tower or some crud like that. So let's go ahead and uh, get back to the game. Let's do it. I think step one, we want to go back out this way. Let me just double check, make sure I actually healed. We did, we're good. You want to squat? Dude, I would love to squat, but don't we have to go get our Lucario first? How do I go and get my Lucario? I'm really sorry, but I'm looking for something. That doesn't mean you have to block the entire staircase. Come on, guy. Dude, can you imagine you're like trying to catch you're trying to catch your subway, you're trying to catch your train. Some guy's on the staircase block and he's like, sorry, I'm looking for something, and you can't get by. No, not these guys. Don't you call me Wkins. Thank you. This guy gets it. Maybe this guy is actually cool. Hello, Wahe. I appreciate you calling me that. I really do appreciate it. I don't want to talk about your dancing Tierno. Please. I just want to get my Mega Stone Ring. I want to go. You know what? I'm going to mash. I'm getting through as quickly as I can. We are about to go get ourselves our Lucario. Get ourselves our first Mega Pokemon. Don't interrupt me again. A new dance. Check check what out? What are you talking about, Tierno? Uh, hopefully it's a new dance. Isn't this stone cool? Why is everyone talking about their stones in today's episode? All right, we're getting a Mega right here. Intriguing stone. I've got shiny stones. I've got intriguing stones. I've got all kinds of stones. There it is. The Tower of Mastery. There is where we are trying to get to. I just have to go and get away from Tierno. No more interruptions, please. I'm just going to go ahead and hop on my bicycle and zoom on down. Let me in. Let me in. That's totally not important. Yeah, don't worry about it, man. We're totally fine. Guys, do we actually have to kill anything inside the Tower of Mastery? Or can we just climb to the top, get our Lucario, and get back out? Yeah, you know, you're right. We got the Stone of the Edge as well. I don't know if it's the Stone of the uh, WWE Rated R Superstar Edge, or if it's a different kind, but who knows, man. I have not been approved to climb the tower. Oh, so this is after the gym. So does that mean we can go and do some squats right now? Kalem battle, then Corinna one on one, and then the tower. Holy crud. All right, guys, it sounds like it is almost time for some squats. Where the crud is Kalem? Let me talk to this guy. What? Are you guys sure? We gotta go back to the tower. Now we're getting lost, man. Yo, Meow the Cat with the seven month sub. Thank you so much, dude. Hope you're having a good day, Meow the Cat. Go in the bottom door. I'm trying. There we go. We've gone inside the secret chambers. Uh oh. Hey, guys. Dude, isn't that a guy from the Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC? Yeah, the Mega Evolution Guru. That's all pretty cool. You can see he Mega Evolved his eyebrows. Gosh, dude, they're following me everywhere, calling me WKins way too many times. <laughs> eyebrows on fleek. There you go. He has more hair on his eyes than he does on his head. Um... Okay, I gotta stop lying. It was given to me. I didn't find the stone myself. So I'll, I'll be honest here. Guys, I know I'm skipping through the dialogue a little bit quickly here, but yeah, if this was a normal playthrough, I would be reading all this, but for a Nuzlocke, we're just gonna skip through it here a little bit. What are we doing? I just want to fight people. Is it time? Shauna! Oh, not you again. Gosh dang it, Shauna. Yeah, my Pokemon are fine. Stop talking to me, guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to mash. Come on. Let me out! Let me out! I'm trying so hard, guys. We're gonna get through this one. We're going to beat these guys up. We're not gonna let them stand in our way. But right now they're standing in our way. How can I stop this? I'm beat them up. 
Guys, I think we need a brand new emote. I need you guys to decide. We've got the stinky cheese for Team Flare. What do we do when our annoying friends show up? What is our emote for the annoying friends? Man, imagine going at this at actual reading pace. This would be a long cutscene by Pokemon standards. All right, guys, let's battle it out. I'm gonna go ahead and see who we've got up front. Probably do not want Bubsy up front for a tough battle. We're gonna go ahead and lead with Trunks. They have been pretty crazy today. <laughs> the A presses. Do you think the A presses will scare off our friends? I think the Walrus is a pretty good one as well. Oh, the A presses for mashing. That's true, that's true, man. We are mashing through the dialogue with that. All right, guys, the final battle with Ghost Rider Antoinette himself. Let's go. Cricketune. I mean, they got a good cry, but they are about to cry in defeat after we get this guy with a Mega Punch. Take him out of here, dude. Watch this damage, guys. Watch this damage. Dude, more than half. Get that critical hit as well. Gosh dang, dude. He's going to heal up a little bit here, but as long as we hit the guy, that's not going to matter. Not going to matter. Let's go ahead. Get this guy with a Mega Punch. Please take him down. Got him. Yes, dude. Guys, we are having zero deaths today. No one is going to die. Level 27 on Trunks, and we're getting even more experience on everyone else. Let's go. Level 27 on Disco Bay as well. Electrode coming out. I can't remember if I have any ground attacks. I don't think that I do. But what I do think that I have is... Um, let's go to Bufasa. We're going to do Bufasa and try out our new Stone of Edge, guys. Next guy is going to have Fissure. Please don't. Please do not have Fissure. Bug does not resist Bug, by the way. Ah, crud. Guys, I don't know my tight matchups very well. No! No! Wait, what was that? I, Dude, I swear I thought that said Fissure. What did that say? Flatter? Okay, that was Flatter. I, Dude, I swear I thought that said Fissure. I was so scared. I guess if he's going to go for Flatter, it might be better to go for Blue Flare here. That's fine. Just get out of confusion. Get through. Come on. There we go. Big damage going in. And that didn't even kill. We got the burn, but it did not even kill. Lock on flatter. That is what we want to dodge. Yeah, Slash is not going to do much to Bufasa here. All right, so we got that guy taken down, but we still have another Pokemon to go. Get out of here, Electrode. Dude, I swear, man. I swear it had Fissure. I just freaked out, and I thought it hit, too. A uh, chatter. Guys, that's you. You're a chatter. But do I want to learn this? The user attacks using a sound wave based on words it has learned. Oh, gosh. Hopefully, they've only learned the words like crud and wahey. This confuses the target as well. Uh, chatter is good, but is it better than anything we currently have? Maybe better than Hyper Beam, because Hyper Beam is scary and it locks us in and all that kind of crud. Cool down complete. Hype Train is ready to leave the station. Nice, dude. Ditch Hyper Beam. Um, yeah, let's do that. You use the microphone for that move? Really? I don't know if I can use the microphone on an emulator. Road Frog, our first level 30, guys. Oh, Dust Noir coming out as well. I could probably go to Bubsy and just do Ominous Wind, though, right? You missed Gen 4 Chatter. Oh. Uh, guys, watch this. They are going to have five levels on us. But we're still going to destroy this guy with some ominous wind. Watch this damage. Super effective. Not even half? Rattled? What is that? Okay, Misty Terrain going in. This guy got some extra speed there. No joke. It literally utilizes the 3DS's built-in mic. That is amazing. Gonna do some night days right here. Wow. Good call on that one. That worked. Guys, we defeated a level 30. There we go. My team is still a little bit underleveled, but we are catching up. I think we're, like, fine for trainers, but we are not fine for the gym. We might still be fine if the level 32 is not a strong Pokemon, but I think we're in a situation, guys, where if that level 32 on the gym leader is a strong Pokemon, we can't cheese it with Fissure unless we gain two levels on the way there. And I think that there's a strong chance, guys, that we might lose some Pokemon or even lose our entire team if they have a crazy Pokemon, if they get a chance to, like, set up or anything like that. So we have to be very careful here. Use Turbo through the text. That would probably be a good idea. I just want to stop being called WK, so I'm getting through as quickly as I can. 
Level 32 Mega Rayquaza. That, I don't know if that can happen because I don't think that the primal forms... Wait, was Rayquaza a primal or a mega? Because I don't think primals are in until Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I don't think they're in this game. You picked it. I did pick W Kings. You're right. Dude, I, I just totally didn't even see it. Even though people were pointing it out in chat, when I was back in episode one and I was trying to name my character, uh, pick my nickname, I didn't even notice that there was an option to name my own, to choose my own. People were pointing it out in chat. When I was watching back the video during editing, I saw people saying it in chat, but I just totally missed it, man. The first time around, I just totally missed it. All right, with that one done, can we now go and do the gym? It looks like we can. Trunks, 27. Bufasa, 28. Disco Bay, 27. Big Gulp, 29. Road Frog, 30. And Bubsy, only level 25. We are in for a bumpy road. Hopefully, Road Frog will get up to level 32, and hopefully that will allow them to use Fissure to take down whatever we encounter. I just don't know if we're about to get two, gym, uh, two levels during this gym. We'll find out. Let's go, guys. Let's go get to our third gym battle of the series. Do I have to skate? Yo, we gotta do some mad skating, bro. Let's go. Come on, kid. Bring it on. I'm gonna beat you up. Stop running around those cones. Here we go. Here we go, guys. First battle of the gym. Rocker Scott with three Pokemon starting off with a Swana. That is not the scariest thing we could possibly have. Remember last gym, guys. Last gym, the first Pokemon was an Arceus. So by comparison, this is not that bad. It's time for some squats, man. We gotta skate, we gotta squat. We gotta do both. Hyper Boy's coming in. We're fine. We're fine. Let's go in with that Mega Punch. There it is, dude. Get them out of here. Level 30 on Big Gulp as well. Man, maybe we're catching up in levels. Flaffy is coming out. We're gonna go ahead and... You know what, man? I'm gonna go ahead and just hit this guy with some double kick. I don't really know what would be a good choice here. I feel like that's a big weakness on my team is my lack of ground attacks. I feel like that's coming back to haunt me. We did find a Pokemon that had some good ground attacks, but I don't remember who it was. And we also just didn't add them to the team, so I don't know, man. Oh, gosh. It does so little. But they missed, so we're fine. <laughs> Yo, it's P-Ram. Okay, they're going for Mist right here, which is, I think, totally fine. Wait, are you playing Tony Hawk now or what? Pretty much, man. We're just trying to play some nice, uh, we're trying to do some nice tricks, some kick flips, some grinding on the rails, all kinds of stuff, man. Level 28 on our boy, Disco Bay. Let's go. Ooh, wants to learn Mega Punch. Should I learn that in place of Magical Leaf? I think the answer is yes, because they stink really bad with special attacks. I want them to all be physical attacks, dude. There we go. And Bubsy as well, getting some much needed level. Giratina! Oh, jeez. Guys, what level is Giratina? Not, not what level. What type is Giratina? Uh, are they weak to bug? I could go to Trunks and do... They're Ghost and Dragon. Should I go back to Bubsy and try to do the Night Days? Origin Form Ink? Please, no. Not weak to bug. Okay, what if we go and do... What if we go and do Night Days? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, gosh. Come on, Bubsy. This is your time to shine. We got you all the way to level 26. You can take on a 27 Giratina. This is not a big deal for you. Just go and get the Night Days and destroy. Come on. Big damage. Not even half. Clamp going in. That should not be that bad. Dude, that was so little. That was so little. We're fine. If they just keep spamming Clamp, we're going to be in a very fine situation. Go for it again. Look at that. So close. Dragon Pulse. That's super effective. No, no, no. No. We're fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm out. Dude, I could kill him. I know. I get that, but I'm out. Dude, I don't even care. I am out. I am out. I can't swap. I can't swap because of the Clamp. I'm going to check my moveset, and I'm going to make sure that I can not miss. Night days. 95. Nope. Ominous wind. 100. Okay, we're doing ominous wind. Heal? Dude, if I heal, what if they go for it again, though? Just hit him. We're just going to go first. We're going to do a move that cannot miss. And we're going to kill him. Let's go. Ominous wind. 
going in. Do not have aftermath. Do not. We're good. We're good. Okay. Holy crud, that was close. But we're fine, guys. We're fine. I I should probably go back and heal, you know. Not a big deal. I was not scared at all. But I think that would probably be a good idea. So let's go back and do that real quick. Uh, how do I do that? Okay, we're going to go out this way. I actually don't know how to leave. Okay, there's kids everywhere. They're skating like crazy, bro. How do I leave? Nah. Let me out. Let me out. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know how to get out of this place, dude. You can't leave. Are you kidding me? Go up through the way you entered. Dude, I just don't even remember how I got in here. Do I go like this? There we go. No, that's not it. That's not it. Okay. I don't remember how I got in here, dude. I, dude, my short-term memory is terrible. I legit have no clue how I got in this place. How do I leave? Bottom right. Bottom right. <laughs> there it is. Dude, I couldn't see it, man. I, I don't know why, but I couldn't see that. Okay, we're good. Thank you, guys. We're gonna go and we're gonna heal up. Not down. Not, not down there. We're gonna go and heal up, and I'm gonna make sure we do not die. Keep it real, guys. Say we were in a situation where one of our Pokemon had to die. We had to delete one of our team members. Who would you choose? It's not a Nuzlocke until Psycho gets lost at some point. Exactly. Disco- You would get rid of Disco Bay? You guys would get rid of Disco Bay. Come on. You would get rid of Disco Bay over Bubsy. Okay, let's keep on going. Zip on through. And let's fa let's battle this trainer. If we can. I just gotta catch up to them somehow. Um, trainer? Come on, battle me, dude. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, but I snuck up behind them. And that made them want to battle me. That was very strange. Rocker Marcellus. We've got Reg Ice. We actually have Reg Ice right now. Okay. No explosion, please. No counter, please. I could go for triple kick. I don't think it's going to do crud. Guys, does Reg Ice have good special defense? If they don't, I'm going for Bug Buzz. He might melt. It's way too hot. Dude, so many legendaries today. I know. It's been crazy. He has good special defense. It's gigantic special defense, but his regular defense is low. Okay, in that case, maybe we'll be fine with this. That is a... That is not... What? Why did my triple kick hit one time? What the crud? What was that? I did not even pay attention. What just happened? Um, He palmed me in the face. How about we go ahead and do cross chop on Bufasa? Force palm. Gotcha. Oh, Triple Kick has a chance to miss after every hit. Gotcha. Force Palm coming in here. Do not paralyze. Good. We're going to go ahead and do some Cross Chop right here. It's going to be super effective. Big damage. Yes! Okay. Oh my gosh, we got him, dude. Level 29. We are finally starting to not be underleveled. We're getting there. Oh, Bubsy as well catching up. Road Frog, dude. One more level on Road Frog. Just one more. Deerling coming out. Okay, we'll cross chop that as well. But guys, one more level on Road Frog, and we can officially fissure whatever we find as long as they are not immune to um, fissure, of course. Stop! <laughs> Stop missing, Terrakian, please. Oh my gosh, we're burned. That's gonna half my damage. You know what, man? We're gonna swap. I know, I know, but we're gonna swap. Blue Flare. Probably should have. I mean, Cross Chop would have been great if it actually hit the guy. Psy Shock. Dude, I'm so shocked right now. Kill the deer. I'm trying, man. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of Brick Break right here. Dude, stop taunting me, please. Run away from scary deer, Ling. It's so terrifying, man. We got him, dude. We got him. Down they go. All right. With that one, we're going to have to go back and heal again. Gosh dang it, dude. But we are boosting up the center right there, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and zip on down here and see if we can get back out of this place. Man, I wish I could just, like, edit out live streams, you know? You guys could just, like, boop, suddenly you're watching me. I'm already healed. I'm already back, but now you guys got to watch this crud. Let's go back and let's do it. 
This poor Pokemon Center, man. I'm just like, I'm going to run them out of business. I'm just going to keep coming back every two seconds to heal. Now nah, we like to hang. Dude, I love hanging out with you guys. That is my favorite part of the Nuzlocke is just hanging out, just chilling. Getting to share the experience with you guys. I think that's my favorite part of it, you know? Better be prepared to, than to end the run. Exactly. That's how I feel, too. We're going to go on back, and we're going to go up here. You watch the live streams, the full videos, and the highlights. Holy crud, man. That might be a bit overload. That might be a bit much. We're going to go down this way. I think we've already battled uh, everyone except for this guy, maybe? I think we've got two more trainers left. Let's go see if we can battle this guy. Dude, he's dodging me. Get back here. I need to fight you. There we go. I guess that's the trick is you have to get up behind them. That's how you battle these guys. Rocker Christine with a Gumi. Their only Pokemon is Lord Gumi. I don't even know how to turn Gumi's face into an emote. I, I don't know if that's possible, man. I'm going to go ahead and just smack this guy with a little bit of bug buzz and just get him out of here, dude. Does Dragon resist bug? I have no idea. Looks like it does not. That's good. Foul play. Is that going to hurt? That actually does a little bit of damage to us. I think what I'll do, guys, we'll go ahead and take down Gumi, and then I'll swap out to someone else, try to take down this next trainer, and then we'll go and heal up one more time and get ready to do some squats at the gym leader themselves. Colon S, I guess that's kind of a Gumi face. Is that a parental bond, Kyogre? Yes, it is, dude. Yes, it is. And it is incredible. We're going to go ahead and put Disco Bay up front for this one. And let's go battle this last trainer here. Or there might be two more, actually. But we're almost out of this place. Get back here. Uh, no, we've already done that one. Okay, so we're going to go back up this way. And we're going to go and deal with this guy. Which I think is the final one. There we go. We got him. We got him. Gumi can be a derp emote. Dude, I've got a derp emote. Um, hey, Psycho, do you play Duel Links? I don't know what Duel Links is, actually. So we've got a Frostlass right here, which is actually not bad for Disco Bay. Let's go ahead and smack this guy with a double kick. Thunderbolt might hurt. No, we're fine, dude. Oh, I forgot their part ghost. Okay, we're going to do Fusion Flare instead. It's ghost. Dude, I don't know my Pokemon types. I just thought they were ice. I didn't know they were ice ghost. We'll do Fusion Flare. It's not going to actually do that much, though. Actually, not bad. Not bad. We'll go for a second one here. Scald coming in. If that burns, that's going to hurt. Don't burn. There we go. That's what we like to see. So let's go for that fusion flare. Get this guy taken down. Smack him with the orange ball. So there's one Pokemon down. One more to go. And then one more trip to the Pokemon Center. And we're good. Big gulp 31. Wheel Roadhog. Ooh, Steamroller. Let's go see what that does. A bug attack. 100 accuracy, 65 power. The user crushes its target by rolling over them. Might make him flinch as well. Let me check my other moves here. I don't want to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of that. Um, I'm going to pass on that one. Doesn't even seem like a bad attack, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, man. It's like we're ending at three hours or after the gym. I think that we'll get to the end of the gym before we get to the uh, three hour mark. So I'm most likely going to get to the gym. If we all die, then we'll just wrap it up and try to recover next week. But yeah, for today, I'm going to try my best to not die in this gym and actually be successful here. Have we discussed turning off the experience share once Psycho's highest level Pokemon matches the next gym's highest? We might do something like that. Maybe that would make sense. I'm trying to figure out the right strategy for it because we had it turned off and my team was just so underleveled. I feel like turning it back on has caught us back up. I feel like we're basically caught back up now, and that's awesome. But yeah, by having it off, if, if I didn't turn it on, guys, man, it would be it would be a mess right now. So I'm actually very glad we decided to turn it back on. But I don't know if leaving it on the entire time is the right move because at the end of the day, my team is very strong, and we might start getting over leveled. Like if I do leave it on, I think we might start getting over leveled instead of being under leveled, and that might make things a bit uh, less exciting. Don't turn it off. I think we'll just play it day by day, week by week, and see what happens. Um, if we get to a point where it's like we're just stomping everything and we have no challenges, then we might turn it off just to spice things up. But right now, I do want to leave it on. Because, yeah, I, I definitely would rather not have a grinding stream if we can avoid it. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and get inside. I think we are ready to go and fight Corinna themselves. I can just get inside the door. There we go, dude. Squats, dude, indeed. It is time for some squats, man. Let's go see if we can roller skate up a staircase somehow. This is it. The final battle. We have to go on this juicy giant elevator. Wait, are we locked in? Time for Lady Corinna's big appearance. Okay, I did not know we were about to get ambushed. No, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, we can still adjust. So, guys, the battle is in front of us. Who do we start with? We could go for Bufasa, guys. We could start with Coil. If we do Coil, we have an incredibly strong uh, rock attack and an incredibly strong fighting attack. And that might allow us to sweep the gym if we get one Coil in there. Uh, we could start with Disco Bay. We could start with Big Gulp. But yeah, yeah, you're right, dude. Coil is very tempting. I'm not going to start with Baka, dude. I think I'm going to start with Bufasa. We're going to try and get the Coil strategy going. If we can sweep this dude... That'll be awesome. So let's go, guys. Gym number three versus Corinna. The final battle against Cyclist Dudley themselves, which I don't even think is the first Cyclist Dudley we fought. Right here, guys, we've got Gardevoir, a Pokemon that was apparently just added to Pokemon Unite. But don't worry about that, Crud. What we're going to worry about is getting out this coil. We're going to go for Stone Edge afterwards and just hope this guy does not have any kind of one-hit KO attacks here. Let's see what we got. Come on. Shell Smash. That could be scary, but it also lowers their defense a lot. So maybe we can just kill them right now. That is really scary. They're going to go first as well. Uh, we'll try one time. They do have speed. They're going to go first now. I'm going to I'm gonna try one time. Ice Beam? Please, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Kill. Yes, it killed. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got next. Let's see what we got next. Level 30 on Bufasa. The next Pokemon is going to be a Star Raptor. Beautiful Pokemon for our rock. The only problem is we are a little bit damaged right now. But what I'm thinking, guys, we stay in and we heal. Let's do it. We stay in, we heal, and then we'll go from there. Let's go get a Super Potion, whip that crud out. Drop that on my guy. Get back to full. Hopefully the attack they have is not super effective here. They have bad special attack. That's good. That's good. Future Sight. Beautiful. That is beautiful. I am definitely okay with that. Stone Edge going in. I don't even know if Stone Edge can miss, guys, when we have Coil. Level 32 Star Raptor going down. It's super easy, man. All right. Can we get the sweep? Can Terrakian get the Coil sweep right now? Blissey. Guys, I think we can one-shot a Blissey right now. I think we can go and hit this guy with a cross chop and obliterate this gym battle. Watch this, guys. Cross chop with coil going in, and we now have three gym badges. That was a free battle. Man, I... We'll talk about it next week, guys, but I am tempted. I am very tempted to go and turn the experience share back off because that was so free. That was so free. Low level 32. They had the 32, man. Oh, so much experience, man. Big gold 32. Trunks level 30. Learning Sludge Bomb on Trunks. Do I even want that? Sure, I do, actually. I would love to have that. Let's get that in place of Fury Cutter. Get that out of here. Sludge Bomb is huge, dude. There we go. Eruption is good. Well, crud. How could it be? Dude, that was so, so free. Three badges are down, guys. Our collection is looking great. We've got an amazing team. I am feeling very confident that we can pull this together and make this run work. So, guys, with that, we're going to grab Retaliate, and we are going to go ahead and wrap things up here for this week. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. I really hope you guys are looking forward to the rest of seeing my team destroy. I'm sure we're not going to randomly have deaths next week. They will be fine. And it's something I keep forgetting to do, guys. But thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting me over on Patreon.com slash Psycho. You guys are amazing. I appreciate it so much, guys. And I guess until next time, take care.